Hey, back about me. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to episode 133. Whoa. We made a podcast. Damn, is it over yet? A labor of love. <laughs> This is kind of ridiculous at this point. 133. <laughs> Episode 133. Wow. Saying 33. Yes, indeed. We made a podcast. We made it podcast.com at We Made It Podcast on all social media. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, you know what I'm saying? All the regular podcast platforms you um, go and listen to podcasts. <laughs> we are there. And, um, Make sure also that you check out the homie Ufasa's Taquitos on Twitch. He is currently a diamond on Apex grinding. Caesar's at a lowly <laughs> gold something. I don't know. I'm platinum four. How dare you? My bad. Platinum four. Been there for two months. Yeah. Pl- platinum four means that he's three away from platinum one, and then he will be diamond like uh, ta- <laughs> like Tarek. But, uh, but, di- but diamonds are He's kind of whack. So, uh, but yeah, make sure you also check out Seas on Twitch at We Made It, we made it Seas. Um, and he is um, also playing, what's the name of the Star Wars game? Star Wars The Fallen Order. Okay, yeah, it's pretty whack. And make sure, you know what I'm saying, we're going to show, uh, you know, you can you can go, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can, uh, I guess you can't really tell, but you know, Tark's streaming on Twitch, you know what I'm saying, you can see him playing. Uh, Look at him go. Look at him go. Apex oh. Legends, you know what I'm saying. Caesar is a super duper... <laughs> Nerd, he did bring his uh, Nintendo <laughs> Switch today. Uh, crack this is Caesar's Nintendo crack Switch here. His, Pokemon his, Sword on there. Oh gosh. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we made a podcast. You know, just want to say that um, you know, 133 episodes. It's only like we're going hard, you know, and we're not asking for much. Oh, that's uh, Caesar showing. And then on the logo, you see, we made it on there. Indeed, in the corner. <laughs> We're not asking for much. We only ask that you go subscribe and, you know, tell your friends and your family to subscribe to the best soccer podcast in the world. We just got our 100th Facebook like today. And, you know, the, <laughs> I had posted on Twitter, and we made a Twitter uh, three plus weeks ago. Hey, we're at 99 likes on Facebook. You know, we're trying to get one more. <laughs> Literally today on Facebook, there was a post from BN about... Um, it was about something. <laughs> Somebody replied on the post, can you guys do something to not have Hope Solo talking about men's soccer? <laughs> and I just replied to him. I was like, check out, we made a podcast, uh, and I put the Facebook link. And this guy said thank you and went and liked the page. And that was our 100 Hey, uh, thanks, Thank likes. you, stranger. Nobody on Twitter <laughs> did it. But yeah. anyway, it's all good because we keep writing nonetheless. Got a lot to talk about today. Um, we will be... Discuss it a lot. We've got a long list of things here to discuss on this page. Caesar's uh, want to watch Tark on, on Apex. Um, we're going to definitely, the big news, the breaking news, Maurizio Pochettino getting fired. Um, we're going to start off the show with that. Then we're going to talk about some of Gareth Bale's recent comments um, and talk a little bit about his international career, see if it's cap or not. Um, also going to say, you know, what's up with Eden Hazard? What's going on with, the, with your boy? Uh, we were supposed to do that you last episode. You love kind of doing this. You love getting out of Eden Hazard. Eden Hazard. <laughs> okay, you're sleepy. Um, no, I just can't pronounce his name right. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's Hazard. <laughs> so, Eden seen Hazard. Okay, anyway. Um, also, we're going to talk about kind of Real Madrid-centric uh, middle. Does Mbappe to Real Madrid next season make sense? Um, then we're going to talk a bit about the Spanish women's teams in uh, uh, going on strike. Then Caesar might come through and talk about his favorite team in Brazil, Bahia, and uh, the things that they're doing uh, down there in Brazil. A lot of topics. Then we hopefully get into a little bit about uh, Terry Henry going to the Montreal Impact. And maybe at the end, if it's not a three-hour show, we'll talk a little bit about Colin Kaepernick's workout. Oh. But um, <laughs> let's go ahead and start, man. Your boy, Maurizio Pochettino. Oh, yeah. Fired. I, okay. Sack. I, I saw the sack, and then I and then I also saw that he left. I don't know which one it is, but... Um, I mean, the best way to read the club statement. What did the club say? They said that they, they parted ways. 
Okay, yo, you got fired, bro. <laughs> uh, um, it ain't no like personal reason. If you was in first place, you would have still been there. Um, fired on a Tuesday. Caesar, which well, let me let me just go ahead and say a little bit of what's yeah, going yeah, on in yeah. time. Right. So currently, okay. It seem it may seem like Tottenham is struggling for people. Tottenham is sitting at 14th place in EPL right now, but <laughs> they are three points off of fifth place. Oh, which, that's insane. Which is currently being held by Sheffield United. <laughs> okay, and Arsenal's in sixth with the same amount of points. So um, it's not as bad as it seems in that regard. Um, they also, what was the score in that, um, Bayern game? Was it 7-2 they got beat or 7-1 or 7-2? Um, but they're second in that group. Obviously the other teams in the group aren't that good. I think it's like, um, uh, Red Star and Olympiacos. Yeah, so I don't know about that point you made, but go ahead. But, but, they're second in the group. But and out of four. Out of four. And the top is Bayern. You know, that's not... You, you know, there being Olympiacos and Olympiacos, Red Star Belgrade. Yes, but, but, Whoa. but... They have the second most goals so far in Champions League. How many have? How about goals but, given up? Hold on, Bayern has the most goals, fifteen, if I'm not mistaken. Seven of those is on Tottenham. Yes, yeah, and 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 Tottenham has thirteen goals. That's the second most goals in Champions League, more than Barcelona, more than more than PSG, Real Madrid. So it's not like, um, mm. and and also they went to the final last year, and I don't think they won their group. I think they got second. Um, with, uh, behind Barcelona, if I'm not mistaken. So, like, here, this this is, was there something else I wanted to say, too, about, um, okay, let me just go ahead about uh, Pochettino's career. He's been with uh, Tottenham Hotspurs. Oh, and I have a question for you after this. Um, two questions, actually. So he's been with the Spurs since 2014, been there five years. No trophies. Um, finished second once. And my like my my worst stat for Mauricio Pochettino's time at uh, Tottenham, not even that he got no trophies, is that they finished third when Leicester won the league. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk like Leicester won the league, and yeah, they also beat all the other teams. Yeah, but like Tottenham didn't even get second that year; they got third behind Arsenal. Um, so. Yeah, what, what 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 do you think about it? Hmm, I wouldn't say you love Pochettino. Oh yeah, that's one of my favorite coaches of all time. <laughs> we we share a lot of similarities, so I really I really like him a lot. I appreciate him as a coach. You know, we both have the same amount of championships, so you know, just it works out evenly. Um, and I can relate to him. So <laughs> I think stupid. that the big issue is that I don't understand why now. It's kind of a weird time. I mean, you this guy brought you guys to well, he helped coach a team that went to the. Finals of Champions League last year, so I don't really know that, you know, a few moves, a few months removed with no real transfer moves happening at all, and you didn't make any real big splash in the market. You can have the you fill the grounds that's necessary to a fire guy, especially when you're talking about just you know three points clear of of a uh, of, of, of fifth, fifth place. place. That's pretty crazy to think about. Yeah, but also, I don't think he's that great of a coach to be honest with you. Me either. I don't think he's like it's not like I, I'm be honest with you like. To me, his seat is so he has such a seat that's so like switchable. Like he can go and you can put someone else in the role. And then if they they could literally have all these seasons with no trophies and be like, well, it's not like Pochettino did much more to him. And then someone like I don't know Mourinho could literally come in and just win an FA Cup. And you've okay. already you've okay. already. I'm just saying like no. no so I have a question for you. Then. Damn. All right. Yeah, because you don't know what you're talking about. I'm just joking. No, because this is related to what you just said. So obviously, can you chill? Because you know that this is gonna be good. You know how you like when I ask you questions. Whoa. Um, so obviously, last season Tottenham went to the Champions League final and lost to Liverpool. Do you think it would have been better for Pochettino last year, winning the EFL Cup, not the FA Cup, the EFL Cup? EFL. Yeah, the, the Carabao Cup, whatever. Oh. Um, EFL. winning that. Or losing in the Champions League final, like which would have been better? Like mm. obviously they did that, so like what's better? Would it have been better if he just didn't go to the Champions League final and won that cup, which is a lesser cup than the FA Cup, 
or go into the Champions League final and lose it. You got to win the Carabao Cup. Yeah, I think so too. They love domestic trophies yeah, out there. Like you got to have one trophy. Like remember, you got to be doing this. They were for saying the they were show they were acting like Zlatan had a super successful time winning in Menu because he won that one FA Cup. Remember that? No, they, won, they won Europe, Europa League. No, but no, with Zlatan. I think that I think they won. No, I don't think they won. He that was cup. injured that whole time. He wasn't there at the end. I don't think they won that cup. They won some cup with him, some kind of trophy. He, I remember him holding up a shield. He won something. I remember. Maybe it was I legit shield? remember. It might have been. Yeah, I mean, we could check. And they were. They always use that image of him carrying it. They love a domestic trophy out there. They love it. They yeah. love a domestic trophy, no matter what it is. It could be. It could be the the participation cup. No, like, oh, let's go. Here we go. I mean, I just think that. Um, let me check this out because I, I don't think he won a rope with them. Well, I think if he did, he was on. He was on, he was on the IR chilling. Because he was not. Was he in that final game? Okay, yeah, they did win the EFL Cup. Okay, yeah, they did. I don't remember that. Okay, um, I remember. I remember that they won that, and then I remember it was like a day game or something like that. So <laughs> he was like holding it up, yeah, and with the the ribbons and everything. And I'm like, look, they love that so much. But they I, love that. That's a trophy. I'm just saying, like, I know it's a player, but um, no, no, I'm saying like it, it, it's a lesser cup, to, than the with, not, but it's better. They than... don't really want to care about Champions League until they're in a the final and you come back with the win. Yeah, exactly. You, they I don't agree. care about how you finished, how you did, because all those years of teams getting knocked out, they didn't care. And then they didn't really care. They kind of pretend cared when they had eight teams in the final, or in the quarterfinal. Or they had a bunch of teams that advanced. and A bunch of English teams advanced last year after having a big drop from making it to knockout, late knockout stages. So they don't think they really care that you come home with a trophy. Yeah, especially in Champions League. I yeah. think it only matters if you get to the final they, and you're a small team. And, and what does it really say to you in terms of either player management or, or priorities or whatever when you're able to – have a team that doesn't even get first place in a group, gets second place in a group, makes it all the way to the final, and that with an injured main player too, because mm-hmm. I remember uh, Harry Kane was here for a little bit, made it there, and then inside your own domestically, you can't even grab a joke trophy against <laughs> You can't even beat these like these these these, these Sunday League teams. Doncaster. Yeah. Oh, you, you, I mean, you, they do beat those teams, but they can't. They no, can't because they, they got knocked out by one of those probably when they got to this FA system. You had to you had to lost somebody like that in FA. No, cup. they didn't lose to a small team like that. But damn, you got your confidence in this this whole run. I don't remember all the teams they lost to in FA cups, but you know they could have lost to one of those in the past. That only says like you you know like I want to know like what's the deal. I mean. I feel you. I don't think they lost to like. I would have put the B roster in the Champions League and been like, yo, let's get this AVA Cup, baby. Yeah, let's get this, let's Cara- let's get this Carabao Cup. Probably yeah. get way more money. <laughs> Might, you know, you never know. But yeah, I just think that no. that's like the mark of his career is that like you couldn't even get one of those, dude. Like, yeah. and, uh, and it wasn't like it was like, I mean, I don't even think he went to that many finals of those. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like, like you're losing in the final of those. But you're not getting there. I you're mean, usually you're usually not even getting there to those finals. Like, like everybody thinks of like Arsenal as the second place finisher of all time. Or like fourth, the fourth place finisher, yeah. Yeah, and then like they then they think of Tottenham like right after that. Yeah, and like I mean, like if, if, if been, they imagine yeah. Ta- Arsenal being second, they imagine Tottenham being the third place team every time. Yeah, it's 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 just one of those teams where like you Pochettino you see them in first and you go, it's not gonna last. It's not gonna last. Yeah, every time. And and although. Like, I don't necessarily think that it's great to fire Pochettino right now because it's not really that bad. But I do think they're going to do better without him because Pochettino seems kind of whiny. I remember when uh, Kyle Walker left and he had an issue with that. And, like, it doesn't seem like the players really like him that much. He doesn't have tactics. They're, they're, I mean, the reports are that a bunch of players didn't want to re- renegotiate contracts. Was, and, 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 and he's been, like... Like on the low, been complaining about that, like saying like, "Oh, the team is split" or something. He's like been having issues, and it seemed like it was only um, uh, what's the Danish guy, uh, Ericsson wanted to leave. It seemed like he was the only one that really wanted to leave, and he wasn't able to. But he's like acting like, you know, things are over. I've been seeing reports are saying like the players got him out of there. That's the way you want it to go. Like the players don't like the coach anymore. You don't want it to be from I, I the top I down. I don't want you know. I mean, that's that's literally the the best thing you want to see in terms of somebody getting fired is the players not wanting to coach anymore. Yeah. Because everybody can the outside can do all the talking they want, but only people to deal with the coach the most of the players. Exactly. They're the ones that have the close relationship. So when everybody tries to intercede and talk and say the players did wrong, you don't have a right to say that because you're no. not in there with them. Yeah, exactly. If it's it's better if the players say, we don't really want this guy anymore, than, it, than, than the top saying, we don't want him, but the players still and, want him. And they keep it a stack. I mean, that only helps sometimes teams get them close together, knowing that they 
rally together to get somebody out of there. Yeah. Sometimes that it brings them new spark, new fire, yeah. and, and they, they come closer. That's an event that causes people to come closer together than they're willing to, when they have been able to make a change together. And people, I think, sometimes fail to realize that the players are employees of the club and the coaches too. Yeah. So like they're kind, they're all labor at the end of the day. So like if this if this group is coming together saying like this person who is like our boss so to speak is not we're just we just don't believe in him anymore like talking to the maybe they didn't say it explicitly to the owner but like they kind of made it known like this guy is just not really cutting it for us anymore they they got him out of there I, but at the same time like in Pochettino's somewhat defense is like I don't really have much expectations for Tottenham and I don't really have much expectations for Pochettino either I don't know if you fire him now. I mean, whatever. I guess you got to do what you got to do. But I don't really expect Tottenham to be doing that great, especially this early in the season where it's nine uh, places in the table and it's only three points separating it. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. It just sounds like to me that, you know, it's a situation of them wanting to prioritize, uh, you know, like 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 having to keep – they want to keep their – their investments and assets like secured, and they probably uh, started panicking and seeing a team, yeah, and, and players and whoever the sponsors are, whatever, and all yeah. this, and and seeing that team in the bottom puts them in a panic. Or it could be a situation where maybe management's wanted to do this for a while now, and you don't really have cost to unless they're really suffering. Yeah, that makes sense. And if you know, th- there's always reports of the past of him wanting to leave, and he's making yeah, these last weird, season too. He was, was making weird. Move. You he was making weird comments. He's always he's has. making a he weird comments. Yeah. They're probably like, dude, I'm over this. Yeah. But I can't let a guy go who's in second and they yeah. were floating at one for a little bit too last year. So yeah. and now he's in any he regional Champions League final like Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so they probably saw that fourth thing like time to go. Yeah, exactly. Um okay, so who do you think is oh and I was gonna say this too about the team like Tottenham does have good players, um, so it's not like they need to be bad necessarily. Yeah. Um, he set that team up to kind of play in a four-two-three-one, which is fine. Um, so the next coach is going to kind of, you know, sadly a lot of coaches have a lot of ego, but I think he's kind of set up the team in a way that it needs to be the same formation that he's had. Yeah. In. That, At least with like, a center striker, yeah, I agree. Think, thinking about like the, like how they've played recently. Um, so who do you think would be the next best candidate as a coach for mm. Tottenham Hotspurs? That's a tough question to be honest. Obviously, with. they're 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 saying Mourinho. They're they're floating Mourinho around. Yeah, because he works on he works on TV. It's so yeah. obviously. Um, maybe someone like Brendan Rodgers. Why not bring him back? He's a, he's at Leicester, right? No, he's a, wasn't he a Celtic? He, who's at Leicester? Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe he's at Celtic then. Yeah, yeah. But I, he's not going to leave uh, Celtic right now. Uh, you swear. <laughs> uh, you swear. Who's, um, at, who's at Leicester? Somebody that we know is at Leicester. Or maybe it's like some Portuguese guy. Philip Boa? Philip Boa? That, he's at Marseille. No, that's, yeah. Um, is it Brandon Rodgers at Leicester? I, I understand. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, damn, with the working phone now. I can't make no refrigerator jokes, y'all. You got to work First of all, I made those jokes. No, I made the jokes. <laughs> Yeah, Brendan Rodgers is at um, oh, as at Leicester. Uh-huh. Um, they're saying that already that they that the Tottenham talked to him. <laughs> yeah, I told you. Oh, okay, <laughs> here you go. Um, no, I, 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 someone like that. I mean, yeah, Mario's just an easy one to do. That's just too boring. I don't want to do the same ones everybody's doing. Yeah. Like, um, yeah. So someone like Brendan Rodgers, maybe like, uh, uh, is, does Man U still have Ole? Uh, yes, he's yeah, still he, there. I know he's been a hot seat for a minute. Yeah. Don't ever know. Oh yeah, yes, yeah, so probably like Brendan Rodgers would be a good signing. Just somebody, uh, somebody. Oh, uh, maybe like uh, Newcastle's coach, um, Steve Bruce. No, before that, Rafa Benitez. Yeah, Rafa Benitez wouldn't yeah. be too bad. Um, yeah, I can see Rafa Benitez going into a role like that. Um, especially if you want to kind of keep that same kind of like coaching in terms of like oh like. Maybe a, a coach that has, speaks multiple languages, and if you want to keep a team that that's able to have somebody that you know speaks English, Spanish, whatever, because if you want want to hit the transfer market in different regions and be easier access to players like that, then you know put uh, uh, he would be uh, Rafa Benitez would be a good option for that because he has experience on different levels. I honestly think Rafa Benitez would be the best, best yeah, especially when he did he was part of the team that he was part of bringing that Newcastle team back up to the top from the from second. Yeah, they loved him at Newcastle. Yeah. They loved him. I I think that he'd be a great addition. I I. I kind of feel like he's going to be the person that gets the job, but 
I think he'd be perfect because I yeah. think from from when he was at Real, Real Madrid, um, it didn't really work out. But I felt like that's a, that's a hard team to make it work out of. I there mean, there was a lot going on I, at that I, time. I don't like to like label his career on that. That's no, tough, no, of course dude. not. No, no, I'm just I'm just mentioning that's when I seen his team play. You know, one of my favorite coaches that I, I always have I have no complaints about is is Byron's coach. You know, like in in. in and, and Ancelotti, I've always liked Ancelotti. Uh, and he's, and at, it, he's at Napoli now. I'm sorry, Napoli. Former Bayern coach and former AC Milan coach. I've always liked Ancelotti. Like, yeah. I always have. And the tenure didn't work out at the end of Real Madrid. He they left. But I, I, I enjoyed he, his he time at Real Madrid. Well, I thought though. he was a great coach. Yeah. He's a, and I love a player's coach. So he has qualities I like too. So, yeah. you know, it sometimes doesn't work on, especially on a team like Real Barcelona. That's such a, that's such an interesting situation. Like, you know, uh, 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 who's a Spain's coach now? Um, Luis Enrique. Luis Enrique. He's a good coach, and it, oh, he's he going there, back to Spain yeah, he's Barcelona, team. but it didn't work out, and he left. You know, it's stuff like that happens. Doesn't mean he's a bad coach now. Yeah, no, no. Know? I mean, no, I wasn't saying yeah. that. No, no. I, I think Rafa. I think Rafa Benitez would be the perfect yeah. replacement for uh, Pochettino. I think Rafa Benitez has tactics, and I think like he'd be excited to work with better players than he was working with in Newcastle. Yeah, and a bigger budget too. Uh, yeah, and th- I think that was his complaint with Newcastle. Like he wanted to have a little bit more of a role in like getting players and like. Wanted them to kind of open up the pocketbook a little bit, but for whatever reason, you know, they didn't really see eye to eye in that regard. But yeah, I think Rafa Benitez would be the perfect um, replacement for him, and he's very familiar with uh, EPL. He's won an EPL. He has a he has a legacy, and yeah, like I think the players would be excited. Like, oh man, this is like a big time coach. You know, like he's yeah. had like real success um, in multiple leagues. I think they could get a cracking with with uh, with uh, Rafa Benitez. Yeah, me too. Apparently, they like love him at Newcastle too. Like they're just like, oh my god, he's like, just Steve Bruce. <laughs> Steve Bruce is the coach right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, they liked him over there, apparently, right? Rafa Benitez. Yeah. No, yeah, they like loved him over there, and they were like sad that he left. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that is kind of big news for whatever reason. I guess Pochettino is like one no, of those you know guys. What it is. Pochettino is like one of those guys that like fails forward I'm like yo this guy has literally proved I mean for me he hasn't proved anything I think you got five years at a team that uh, we, we broke it all down before what was it like that he could have won like 63 cups there's like 47 yeah he was zero for like 60 or something like that I'm like <laughs> I dog what I, I wish I remember that you were literally hitting a zero clip it was like zero Your KD's for like, a zero it was like you could have won uh, like it's just four. It's like twenty because it's five years. So you could have won twenty uh, domestic uh, cups or league, and then like you could have been in Europa or uh, Champions League. It was like a lot. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, he's literally missed on like dozens of trophies that he could have won. He has not won them once. Not even a community shield. Yeah, I was like re- reading like weird weird posts and stuff and comments saying like, oh man, like like oh he you know, he, it's not all just about like his performance. I'm like, uh let me get this. That's straight. all it's about. I'm like what okay, he's not a player on a field. So if it, if a player in a field for you was was signed and, and paid and seen as the best but never scored any goals and assists and he's an attacking player, you're gonna tell me that his performance isn't really about no, in fact no. his game. He's gonna at least get an assist one time. Yeah. Well, that's gonna that's gonna kind of go into when we talk about Eden Hazard, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I, Pochettino's is one of those guys. They're like, oh, you know, like he hasn't done anything for Tottenham. Get him for Real Madrid. I'm like, what are you talking about? No, he's like, gonna definitely f- fail forward. He's gonna end up at Barcelona, like hands down. It's so it's so locked in. He's absolutely. Valverde's he played, been on this hot seat for a minute. They're yeah. gonna get rid of Valverde. But honestly, I don't know. He's okay. gonna go to Barcelona. I kind of don't think so. I mean, this is getting kind of deep, I guess. But, like, I feel like Pochettino's teams is, like, he likes to have a 4-2-3-1 situation. And if Barcelona's going to run a 4-3-3. And I don't really know, like, I, if he I know has Pochettino, that skill. Yeah, but I know that Pochettino may know he may have this much of an arrogance about himself and what he, what he wants to bring into a team. But I think that Barcelona's the only club that 95% of coaches around the world were, like, Reluctantly draw back some of their like preferences when it comes to formation. Honestly, tactics. Messi is the coach of that team. Honestly, yeah, I know. Like, it's like it, really it, no point. Be like, all right, whatever you say, man. We can do. It. I don't even blame Valverde. Like they talk about Valverde. No, I'm, I'm not. Like, blame- he, I'm like, he's not the issue. It's Messi, dude. Like, <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. Valverde I don't, doesn't I don't, coach that team. I don't look at Barcelona's team and go. 
What the hell is Valverde doing? No, I don't think that. ever. I think, what are you doing, Messi? <laughs> Literally. I'm like, yo, it's me-. like Messi should be telling Luis Suarez, you can't play no more, dog. Yeah. Like, I love you, bro, but you yeah. got to come up this bitch and play, play some of these Copa Espanol games with me. You feel me? Some of the cup matches go off with me. Let's, yeah, let's take out eye bars together. <laughs> yeah, but you can't be playing no. four games in a row, homie. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's talk about another player who has um, been criticized a lot recently by us. Your boy, Real Madrid so-called legend, Gareth Bale. Oh, yeah. He's had he, some, He's out here talking. He's had some interesting things. Did you see the, the banner today? Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, okay, chill out, chill out. I, I, <laughs> I know you were I'm heated. like getting... I'm really <laughs> done with this dude. I'm holding back from cussing so hard. So, Gareth Bale the other day um, was talking about... It, it's, obviously, it's international break. That means nothing for We Made a Podcast. We get it cracking no matter what. Not like other podcasts. Anyway, um, he said, I definitely have more excitement playing for Wales. I've been with most of the older players since we were in under 17s. It's like playing with your mates down the park on a Sunday. Excuse me. With Wales, I'm speaking my own language and, I, and feel more comfortable. But it doesn't change what I do on the pitch. I always give 100%. I always give 100% on the pitch wherever I am. That's what I always strive to do. Cap. Uh, that's definitely Cap. Um, he said that... Um, t- 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 okay, I'm not going to talk about what he said about Spanish media. Whatever. Uh, okay, okay, now let me just say a little bit about Gareth Bale and his international career. So Gareth Bale's thirty years old. He had his. Do you know what? Want to guess what year he got his first cap? Ninety four. <laughs> okay, chill out. He got his first cap in two thousand six. So Jesus Christ. Yeah, so he's been playing for Wales since for thirteen yeah, years. Yeah, playing left back. <laughs> um, now he scored thirty three goals for Wales. Most of his international goals can have been in uh, real UEFA or FIFA competitions. Um, 27 of them have been in uh, UA for FIFA competitions. He's only had three in friendlies and three in the China Cup, um, oh. which don't really count. <laughs> what um, is the China but Uruguay Cup? won that, so relax. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> He's only got three goals in friendlies. So He's like, who wants to see Wales play a friendly? Um, now, you want to take a guess when the last time Wales qualified for the World Cup? Hmm. Was it the Mexico World Cup? Can I get a, can I get 80, a year? Is that 80 something? 80. 70, so, 70? so the 80s. Yeah. 1958. Oh. Um, and they also, <clears throat> since Gareth Bale has been playing for Wales, they did not qualify for the 2008 or the 2012 Euros. So the first, so the Euros they qualified for was 2016. Everybody remembers that Euros. It was, it was, uh, it was kind of cap. It was boring. There was a lot of hype around ice. Portugal. Woo! Um, Gareth Bale scored in the group stage against Slovakia and Russia and in a loss to England. Yeah. He did not score after that. They ended they ended up losing to Portugal in the semifinals 2-0. Yeah, so in five matches he scored three goals, right? Yes. Okay. In the group stage. He did good that group um, stage. I'm not hating. I'm sorry? I don't think he did bad at all in that uh, in Well, I'm just saying I, I'm I'm just kind of putting it into perspective because there's there can be like a narrative around his participation in those Euros like he was thugging it the whole time. No, it was just they didn't score in the they, they didn't per group stage match and then no yeah. goals in the knockout stages. Exactly. And they didn't You know was thugging out that? Mm. Aaron Ramsey, he was going off. He was killing. Um, I remember he was killing. No, no, the other forward for um. For, oh yeah, yeah, that dude, uh, the black oh, dude who, was, who wasn't even. Name. I forgot his name. Rob, Robson Kenu. Yeah, he was. Yeah, Robson Kenu's balling. And too. he wasn't even on a team at the time. No, he was. He was chilling at the crib. Uh, um, he was playing in the same yeah, league as me. But they did um, lose two zero to Portugal in the semifinal. So Gareth Bale's international career, in my opinion, is nothing to write home about. Um, it's not like Wales is big. It's only about three million people. Um, but but, um, you know, there's another. I mean, Uruguay is three million people. They've been they win trophies in a, in a harder uh, uh, conference or whatever. <laughs> so, um, and for me, I'm just like, okay, for you to say like, oh, it's more exciting to play for Wales, like, but why? You know what I mean? Like, I just think that what he's really doing is dissing Real Madrid. Because I, because that's cool that yo you want to play for my country whatever but y'all ain't really doing that much you've played in one competition 
Go ahead. You're going to cape for him. Go ahead. Gareth Bale. <laughs> shut up. Just shut up. Are you kidding me? Because because I think this is the most cap of all time. You sound like a butt hurt teenager. That that's salty. That that that's not cra- things aren't getting it cracking for you right now. You sound salty. I don't know what's going on with him. It's every time I do He's see watched. him. Every time I do see him on uh, Wales, he does look like he has a pep in his step. My my man, this is the funny thing though. This is the funny thing though. When you play when you play for Real Madrid. And and you look like you're running on. You look like you're 54 years old out there. It's like whenever I watch for some random reason, I like watching Real Madrid legends play. I like watching the old folks play. Bailey, you leave me so comfortable out there with the boys on a Sunday, kicking around with your mates. Now, a couple of things to say. This is a situation in Bale. Number one, if you don't like Real Madrid, you can go. Why don't you go to Swansea? And you can walk around speaking your own language, having a good old time with your mates. Because when you were playing for Southampton, and then you were playing 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 uh, Tottenham. for Tottenham, that wasn't Wales. So, whatever, go to Swansea. Then you'll be in your true origin. It'll be right there under the dragon, doing your thing, getting it cracking. Is that well, what you we, want? We from Cardiff, actually. Yeah, well, nice. Go to go to Cardiff City. Have some fun in, in Division Three, where the hell they are right now. Have a blast over there, because I. I won't even know what happened. You could have 30, 30 goals in Division Three, and I won't even know. Go ahead and get 35. <laughs> but guess what, Bill? <laughs> you didn't go. You didn't get to go because, I hate to break it to you, the only other team that wants you is the team that can select you for free. And that's the national team. God dang. It's my phone. Relax. It's okay. It happened. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a national team. And then, what really is... Wait, is oh, it, oh. Uh, no, I'm sorry. The only team that gets to select you is a national team. Okay. Nobody in England wants you. You had a whole summer window. All kind of songs came out. Everybody was dancing these terrible Tiger songs like the Macarena one that just came out. It's terrible music. And you sat through all of that shit and nobody said, Bill, we want you. Even if it was for thirty-five million, they were like, "That's a little much." I'd rather get this. I'd rather get a loanee from Belgium to get it cracking than get Gareth Old Man Bale out here for one hundred eighty thousand a week. Get Daniel James, even 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 Alexi Sanchez found a job, and he's three times salary of any human alive on this planet. And he's playing uh, partial, but getting his wages split and getting paid bank in Inter Milan, and you couldn't find a resting home to kick it at. Bale, nobody wants you. Wales wants you because they don't got to pay the wages for you. They just got to pay your appearances, and that's probably cheap for them. Probably tax money. That's whatever. But nobody wants you, dog. So you better shut up. Get that get that Rosetta Stone out, and better start <laughs> making Spanish your home because You've been here for a long time now. <laughs> I don't know why this better stop being home. I mean, honestly, everything you said is definitely true, except for when he played. Play, oof, I was seeing if your phone was correct. You have seen if that screen was correct. I have a, I have a temper glass. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Ever. Um, the thing about him having a pep in his step for for Wales, it's not true. I watched a lot of the game today. Uh, Wales hungry, and he plays the same. Literally, he can barely control the ball. He got an assist today, but it was literally just like a Aaron Ramsey ended up getting on the end of his cross. Baller. Yeah, and Aaron, Aaron, Aaron Ramsey was balling and got both he's the goals and got both the goals today. Actually, um, love Aaron Ramsey. Like that's pep in the step. Daniel James is pep in the step. Gareth Bale. He don't <laughs> Daniel even, James. Yeah, the dude that plays. Yeah, the he's a baller. Yeah, like Gareth Bale it looks slow. You know, what? and I'm saying pep in my step because I'm thinking of the Euro tournament. He looks yeah, kind of turned it, one. Like that, even that. But that, that was a it, long time ago. That's three years ago. Man, that was three years ago. And people, I don't think people think of that Bale. That's, that's what three years ago. That's why I wanted to say this stuff because there's a narrative around Gareth Bale. Oh, you know when he plays for Wales. No, you watch him play for Wales. He plays the same as he does with Real Madrid. Oh, it's it's different. Because he doesn't have these ballers around him that's the same level of ballers that Real Madrid does. He looks slower playing for Real Madrid because everybody else is running so because, much. Because La Liga's fast, too. Exactly. It's a fast league. So, I mean, yeah, when you're <laughs> when you're playing against Hungary or, like, Azerbaijan, like, yeah, you're going to look better. But, like, Gareth Bale's literally washed. Like, literally. He is 1,000% washed. Like, he's not <laughs> good anymore. 
Like, we're not talking about somebody that's good and he's just like, something's going it, on. It, 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 he's it, not good. Literally, I saw, I literally saw a comment today on his post where it said uh, Wales Golf and Madrid. Where, where, honestly, honestly, if he comes back to that locker room, it's literally the hands. It's literally <laughs> hands to me. I really, yeah, really I, I wish Sergio commented on there and said on site. Ooh. Then I'd be like, okay, you deserve that LA tattoo. You can have that LA tattoo in your arm. If he said on site, I'd be like, this is, I love this team with all my heart. <laughs> but it didn't happen, and it's all good. You, you know what's funny, though? I'm going to keep it real. Bale wasn't doing all this when Ronaldo was in town, though. Uh, not, he not wasn't even, getting buck even. wild. Mm-mm. Ronaldo left town. He was like, I can just start getting crazy. No one tell me what to do. So you know where that leadership went out the door. Absolutely. Like, I'm sorry. I hate to say I'm not trying to say that. No, so, no. It's, I'm it's, not it's trying true. to say that Serge Arm is not a good captain. Of course no, he's he, a good captain. Of course he's a captain. But it's different between captains and, and then just, just locker room leadership. Absolutely. There's certain people that are inside a room. You may have a guy who's a captain tell you, but there's another guy who may, may up your level, maybe a different respect or with different things going on. Well, I think that I think the difference is professionalism. Like, Sergio Ser- 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 Ramos might be the locker room leader, but Ronaldo was the leader on the field. Yeah, and I think like on the field, it's like that guy's going to put the team on his yeah, back. Yeah, there's people that they command professionalism, uh, 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 competition, mm-hmm. fire. He seems like that dude, and when he left, I don't know. All of a sudden, you got reckless now. Mm-hmm. So now, all of a sudden, you got you feel comfortable talking out of turn. Not talking, uh, talking about the language, not learning. I never, for, I'll never forget. I watched that first interview Gareth Bale did in his cleats and some compression shorts on upstairs in Real Madrid training room, where he was all excited to play for Real Madrid. And he's gonna learn the language. He's already in school, getting ready to be immersed in, a, in a, the immersed in the culture. It's all good. That was six, seven years ago. Whatever, whatever. I, it's past. Well, the thing is, I've heard him speak Spanish. Me too. So, so, so I don't, I don't know, know what's going I on. I just with don't know. Him. I don't know. I, he needs to pick a side to cap on. It's really Either you weird. cap here or you cap there because I've heard you speak Spanish too. Yeah. And then now, now, and now you pretend like, oh, I get to speak my language, bro. Like, uh, uh, first of all, are you talking about English? What, what are you talking about? He is talking what, about English. I, I hope don't so. Don't be racist about uh, Wales. I don't know, man. Don't do it. That's my people. And I saw some funny languages on there on Twitter. I was like, what's what's this language on here? That ain't English on there. <laughs> okay, very well. Well, the Welsh language is like damn near dead. So okay, well, someone was speaking that dead language, hard body. <laughs> they were spitting them true language. But no, no. The comment on it was saying some fool was like, oh, well, healthy, arguably, Bale's the best uh, attacker on the team. Oh, God. And I'm like, hey. He doesn't even watch. First of all, first of all I'm not even putting Bale over Rodrigo. No, I'm not, hell I'm no. not in hell. No. I'm not even putting Bale as an attacker over Marcelo. I'd rather have Marcelo on the winger right now than Gareth Bale on God. On the right wing, too. Yeah, <laughs> on, on, on God I would. Yeah, me too. And I'm not even, I'm not even like making a joke about it. Me neither. That. Like, yeah. I'm sure he would do the same, if not better. I'd put Valverde. <laughs> i put Valverde. Uh, put, I would I put so Modric, many, I put Modric in the right wing before Bale. Yeah. I'm, no I'm not playing, dude. No cap. So, it's like... This like so you can't even you can't even put his sentence the same his name in the same sentence as Benzema right now like don't you dare no <laughs> don't no. you dare this man has thirty one goals this calendar year I, get out of here please I would put uh, <laughs> I would put uh, Danny Carvajal at right wing before oh, dead Bill. ass I put, I'm, 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 I, 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 I might I might uh, I, uh, I'm thinking about it I'm, I, you, you know, know what I was gonna say, was gonna say Danilo I was okay. gonna say I'd put Danilo. He did score a nice goal for, for Brazil today. Yeah, he did. It was a boomer. Uh, uh, but it wasn't his own goal this time. But um, uh, uh, I'm only saying that it's bad that I'm considering Hakimi. I yeah, that's even, true. I that's shouldn't true. even consider it. Yeah. I'd be like, that's a hell no, he's so bad. Yeah. I'm like, hmm. Like, I've literally Hurry played three matches in, in Dortmund. Hmm, I have to do I, a winger. I literally seen games last season where the team was not passing Gareth Bale the ball. Like, they were literally not passing the ball. Like, it, and, and like if anybody, I can't remember what game it was, but they're literally like getting the ball, like turning <laughs> towards him and just like ugh, nah, and just because like, all he does is give it back. Yeah, because they're like, there's nothing going on. He's there. like, gonna, he just makes no one on ones happen. Nothing. It's just so stupid and, and useless to give it, him the ball. I, I, I really wish they could be like, hey, so that can we swap our Loney Odegaard back real quick? Facts. I'm sure he would do more. It's anybody ridiculous. Would, anybody would. If anybody watches Real Madrid and they watch Gareth Bale play these last two something seasons, he's washed. We, he's just we, not good. On anymore. this show, we did a comprehensive look at his stats. Oh, it was it was everything. Re- it was, we, it was, we, we, the we Bale about, deep dive. It was the over deep dive for him. into Bale was the beginning of the end for this man. Yeah, yeah, like for and real. And this when I you know it's funny when I see this stuff, I'm like two things. I don't really think you're helping your own market value. 
because no, he's because not. because this may be which cute. is zero at this point. This may be cute. It might work in China because they're probably not getting this kind of headlines over there. Maybe they're not because uh, I don't know. I don't really know how soccer things translate over another. I really don't know how it works. So maybe they're not reading this kind of stuff. We are and understanding all the comments and what people yeah. are saying. Who knows? Who knows though? But Gareth Bale, like like you already had a whole summer. Since, you actually had a summer since we won Champions League to get the hell out. Mm-hmm. You weren't taken then. You nope. weren't taken now. Nope. And apparently in the circles that. It wasn't like Real was saying no to anything. It just didn't matriculate. Every every single time (laughs) there's a player, every good player, they talk about him going somewhere. And they talk about fake offers and stuff. You didn't hear no rumors about Man U, Chelsea, anybody offering... Like uh, to to get Gareth Bale from Real Madrid, it was literally only China, and China doesn't pay transfer fees. Bam. So that's it. Bam. It's like no, you got to stay. If Gareth Bale had sixteen goals this year, if he had sixteen, that's not even thirty. If he had sixteen goals, mm-hmm. you might have even heard mm, why not? A why yeah, not? Yeah. Chelsea be like, why not, dude? We got yeah, some dude named maybe. Mount the Count out here. Why <laughs> yeah. not? Count Mount. Count Mount's out here. Mm-hmm. And, and Captain America can't buy, can't sniff a minute. Yeah. So he just finally got a first goal. So it's like, all right, why not, dude? We got hella cap room right now to get somebody. We got hella money to do yeah. it. That's not happening, nothing, dude. Nothing, nothing, dude, nothing. And nothing. even the teams in your, in your own home country ain't even calling either. The, the funny thing is that, like, you heard all summer Real Madrid wanted um, Ericsson. Yeah. They couldn't happen for whatever reason, but you never heard anybody talking about they want Gareth Bell. You didn't hear Tottenham talking about they want Gareth Bell. We, we, didn't, get, got, we didn't get that illustrious trade going. In a heartbeat, Juventus switched Cancelo mm-hmm. and, and Danilo. They so got, a trade is possible. Uh, a swap is possible Tot- for contracts. Tottenham got Ndombele, and I feel like that's like their only signing this summer, or this transfer. I mean, a major one. Yeah. I, I mean, might have yeah. some dudes we don't know. Yeah, that's true. But like, it wasn't anybody talking about Gareth Bell. So, just uh, Gareth Bale is cap. Like, his international career, although it seems that, like, oh, you, there's this narrative around his international career. Well, it hasn't been that crazy. He's played in one tournament. He's played in one tournament, okay? So, his, the, the, I'll, I'll give him credit. He has 33 goals in his caps. He's got hella caps. I actually forgot to write it down. But, like, the, 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 the goals that led to a tournament was from one year, like well maybe 2015, 16, and they played in that tournament. That's it, and that, and now they just qualified for the Euros again. Let's see if he's healthy. Let's see if he's able to do it. But Gareth Bale, I promise you this, he won't do anything impressive in uh, the Euros, 2020 Euros. The only thing it, he might do that might seem impressive is if he has some acrobatic. Luck goals. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't get me wrong. Get Bale might give you one game where he gives you some goal, and then they say Bale is back. Mm. But as, as the man, as, as, as you, you, it's shame on me 18th time. It's shame on me 18th time with Bale. Because as as it's been consistent in the past, he's great for one game, then I don't see him for 19. Yes, yeah, So I'm sure after that he's going to do something else going to happen next game. So it's whatever. And also I want to say this too because um, I, I, I can never forgive him for this. This dude was talking about how, like, uh, you know, this was um, before they won that third Champions League. Talking about, oh, you know, they treat the players like robots and something, something, something. Then they won the Champions League. He had them two lucky goals talking about I need to be playing more. So this dude is, is duplicitous. And he's disingenuous. He's fugazi. Yeah. And I'm not like I'm not gonna be like listening to what he has to say and holding a banner and talking about Wales golf Madrid. It just makes you look even faker than you are. I and wanna, they don't I talk wanna, about him like that because he's white. Yeah. No, I, I'm gonna keep. I was like, damn, it must be nice just to get away with all this. They literally, it must be cool, like to have people defend you no matter what. It's yeah. pretty dope. I'm sure Benzema like that. That'd be dope. Can you imagine if Ronaldo held up something like that? Oh, it'd be over. It'd be so. They bad. get crazy about Ronaldo when he uh, gets upset for getting subbed. I, I mean, like, I mean, like, like that thing was crazy to me too. Because I'm like, dog, who, they've been doing that for years. Who gets who gets jippy by getting subbed out? Who's a top tier player in the world? Do you think Messi gets subbed out over your uh, Messi? Don't giggling? even get subbed. Exactly. <laughs> so everybody knows so, you can't so sub let, him. Let's do a test. Go out there and sub uh, Messi after he's having to win these walk around matches. I swear Let me know how I feel. He you know what's gonna go. happen? He gonna tell he gonna tell the coach you you leave. I've seen Messi be like no. I've seen yeah, that. me too. He's like no. He going out I'm not there. going out. He he's like no. I'm gonna walk around. I'm gonna score a goal eventually. <laughs> I'm trying yeah. to get these numbers up. 
I'm trying, uh, my career, and now everybody's watching these Ibar and Hitafa games. All I got to do is get one off and I'm going to be an Instagram clip and, that, and it's going to say, look at my sticky feet. Yeah, <laughs> and exactly. I'm going to get this goal off. Um, but yeah, okay. Obviously, we talk about Gareth Bill forever. I want to talk about another Real Madrid player. Uh, Caesar, we're picking on your team today. Damn. Chelsea. No, I'm just joking. Um, we got to talk about your boy, Eden Hazard. Big money transfer this summer, this past summer. We got to talk about him. Now, let me go ahead and tell you his stats so far this season. He's played seven out of 12 games. This seven. Season. Seven out of 12. Seven games, okay. Seven out of 12 games for Real Madrid this season. He's had, um, in the league, okay, in the league, he's had one goal and three assists. How many games he played? Seven games. Okay. Um, one goal and three assists. And okay. in Champions League, he's played four out of four games. Mm-hmm. And he's had one assist and no goals. Uh, <laughs> um, I, but to his credit, I, he's he's won. I think he's won two penalties. I think he has. That ain't really a stat for people. I like it as a stat. I'm gonna go ahead and give it to him. I, he's at least won a penalty. I'm gonna keep it real. His goal might be a penalty. I'm not sure. Come on, <laughs> man. But, um, but go ahead. And for me, I almost count assists as goals. Well, they're not goals. They're I know assists. they're not, but I mean in terms of like importance in the game. Yeah, because it led to a goal. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I said his assists. I said I'm that. Saying. I'm just saying. He has one goal and three assists in the I league. I said assists second. Games. I just want to make sure it's equal. And he has, okay, so he has three assists and one goal in the yeah. league. Okay. And in the Champions League, he has one assist and mm, goals. Yeah. <laughs> one and zero happens. <laughs> yeah. Um, here's, I, I just want to say this. <laughs> and we talked about him a little bit before. I mean, we've talked about him, uh, you know, covering the games. Um, I feel like he doesn't really know his role for real. Um, when I watch him play, and I've watched him play a lot of these games, um, I just feel like he doesn't know what he's there to do. And he ends up dribbling a lot, and he ends up not really taking shots. Um, and I think what what he... Because sh- I don't think he's struggling as a player. But when I, but the thing I think that is different for him, that where, he may, where he may be struggling a little bit, is that the defense in Spain is a lot faster. And it's not necessarily the defenders, although the defenders are too. It's just the defense itself because you're just playing a different style of football than what he's used different to Different tempo too. Yeah, just what I'm saying. It's faster. Um, so it's not just like each individual defender is faster. It's just the defense itself it just works faster. You know, um, And that's what I think the transition has been for him from coming from EPL. You know, it's I think it's a transition on both sides of it too as well. Both sides of what? The team, not just Aiden Hazard, but also like on the Real Madrid side, there's been like this transition period in terms of learning how he operates and he learning how Real Madrid operates. Both are kind of at this point where like they're not understanding how to like what to do. Like Aiden Hazard does seem like a little gun shy, but then also with the ball, he I think in his head is like, man, like the guy before me here was doing like the most out here and getting Ooh, it cracking. Junior, yeah, was getting it cracking out uh, here because Ronaldo was not there last season. Was getting it cracking over here, so I need to. I I feel like I need to amp it up. Like I need to do this. I need to do this for the fans and this whatever. Like it's just that pressure that comes with wearing out the white jersey. And I don't, I think that it's it's a lot of it's on Real Madrid for not getting what I felt was even the right guy for the position in the first place. That Eden Hazard was not the person that we picked originally. Okay. I, I we had said I had, we talked about Raheem Sterling. Um, a Mbappe would have been better, but now that Eden Hazard, it's like. I don't have a problem with the hazard. I think it's a uh, pick. And I said it was a, uh, all right, sure, I mean, whatever. And that's the kind of stats he's putting up for you. Uh, all right. Uh. It's not zeros <laughs> and zeros. It's not bail numbers. It's, yeah. But Caesar, you want to eat an hazard there for a while. Yeah, back when he was running. So you're telling he's not running? Uh, he He's kind of looking like he's the jogger out there. He's definitely not looking like that. You're, that's definitely not true. He's running around a lot. He's yeah. run, I've seen him play defense. He's running around a lot. I even said that I feel like he's playing too much defense. He's running around a lot. It's just I feel like he doesn't know necessarily what His he's role. there to do. Yeah, I know. Like, and it's like, dog, like you're there to not you're, – you're not there to replace Ronaldo. You're not that guy. But you're there. I'm sorry. You may, uh, the, he's, it's, the perception is there, though. 
It's it's the assumption that the person there is following the mantle of what this man left behind before. Well, the good thing for Eden Hazard is that he's not coming the year Ronaldo left. Yeah, but I'm gonna keep it real with you. No one even remember last year. People people don't really remember the Vinicius Junior. They really I, don't. I, dog. I'm not people. You're, you're, I'm I know not you're people. not, and you're a very small minority. <laughs> well, I'm not talking into the small. I'm talking to the people that know the sport. Okay, but I'm saying like, the, what you remember. What Real Madrid is the years that that Ronaldo left behind, not the year Vinicius Junior played in that position last year. So if Vinicius Junior was the was that replacement, then there wouldn't have even been any investment on the side to put a left winger there. That didn't happen. They paid for somebody, so they paid for somebody to 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 to, to clear up the gap that alleged was left there before by Ronaldo. So that happens. He's not putting in the work. He, he he doesn't know what the he doesn't know what what how to play in that position. And I don't even think he's like that guy. I think that he's trying to make himself some guy. He's not just so he can appease people or see if he can get it cracking. But I disagree. With to, that. to me, I think that that's not. It looks like in in how it's working out there. I don't think he can really do it out there. The team doesn't work like that. That's just not his like style over here. Like maybe he should move more centrally, or something like that. It just not seem to work to me. I don't think that that's the case. I think he can play in the left wing in a 4-3-3. I think he can do that. I just think that he is dribbling too much and he's like I think I think when he was in EPL, he could kind of afford to let there be a defender in front of him and he could do his thing. It don't really work like that in Spain. Now, let me also say this because People talk shit about Liga. And there's another player. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? <laughs> there's another player that is. That, there's a, there's, I don't say another player. There's a player that's come from Marseille to La Liga. And he's turning up and he's doing very well. And he's starting to get caps and all kinds of stuff. Lucas Ocampos. He has come seamlessly to La Liga and thugging it out. And even against Real Madrid, he was doing his thing. Eden Hazard is. Baller. I mean, Eden Hazard has not been able to play. Obviously, it's two different teams. You know what I mean? Like, you can't necessarily compare Sevilla to Real Madrid. Yeah. But I mean, on at some level, uh, but on some level, like Sevilla has expectations, not necessarily winning the league expectations. Although Real Madrid doesn't necessarily have winning the league expectations either. That, you know what I mean? And they kind of do. Expect yeah, you you want them to be up there, but everybody just figured Barcelona's gonna win the league. Um, okay, but. <laughs> Lucas Ocampos has come seamlessly into La Liga and, like, really, st- like, I mean, he was a baller for Marseille, but, like, he's looking almost even better playing in, in Spain, whereas Eden Hazard looks like he's not as good playing in Spain. So I think that's a testament to, like, I mean, obviously we've seen Liga players go into Spain seamlessly many times and EPL. I don't really know if you've seen very many EPL players recently go into Spain seamlessly like that. They usually Trippy don't leave. He it's not like it's not that serious. It's not that serious, and also this is a right back, so it ain't literally that crazy. Um, yeah, because you how many times you watch Trippier play this season? Oh man, you do a lot of attacking how me. How right many? Now. Zero. <laughs> Thank you. You just heard he had a good game. Um, All right, man. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's it's it. When I when I was thinking about Eden Hazard and just like watching him play, he doesn't look like he's lost it or he's like playing bad. It's just like yo, like. You need to do some. You need to create some space. You need to get some shots off, yo. Like, come on, man. I feel like Tony Cruz has had more shots than him. Um, honestly, I feel like that. I don't know if that's true, but like, I could, I could imagine that Tony Cruz has shot the ball more than Eden Hazard. I mean, you don't even watch soccer. You watch MMA, dude. Like, I don't even know why I'm even talking to you about this. You, you don't even watch Real Madrid no more, dog. Damn. You're okay. Serie C's and UFC C's, dog. All right, man. <laughs> this is so fake right now. Anyway, let's go, since you don't really have that much to say, um, let's go ahead and keep it in Real Madrid's system here. <laughs> Real Madrid, let's go. Keep going. We didn't know Real Madrid headlines today. You're annoying me. Um, All right. Here's my question. <clears throat> I actually saw a rumor. Um, I don't know what I was looking at. I just seen something. They were saying that... Um, Mbappe was not going to renew his contract with PSG and that he was going to go to... It's like Real Madrid or bust. But I was like, um, that kind of seems fugazi because it's not like his contract is ending next season. He's still got three years on his contract, so it don't matter if he renews or not. He's still got three years on there. Well... Go, go ahead. Well, I mean, the point is not about 
fulfilling a contract in soccer because there's no way on this got in this green planet that's kind of brown that they're going to get a free transfer for him. It's about that he's not renewing his contract because he doesn't want to up his value to make it harder for him to be purchased by another team. Yeah, but we're talking about in 2022. Yeah, but no, 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 no. I just said the statement. It's not about him fulfilling the contract. It's about him not increasing the contract to make his value go up. He wants to keep the contract by uh, the same price so it's easier for teams to buy him because if he signs a new contract with a new extension on it, then it's going to increase his value, therefore making it harder for a team to buy him. Well, That's I understand. the point. I'm aware of that. I don't know why you're talking to me like, I, I don't, don't know. No, you don't know because you just said 2022 again to me. Okay. Well, I just well, said it was about fulfilling the contract time. Well, there's two parties here. It's not just him. It's also the team. So, oh, really? So, signing is, so with the, the headline was a little bit uh, facetious. They're saying mm-hmm. he's... And you said that's the second word today? You said it another, <laughs> earlier. Was it Woodley or something? Or Woodley? I don't know what you said about <laughs> Bale. <What>, Woodley? <laughs> What did you say with a W? Yo. Lucidly? What did you say? Oh, my God. That's some new word I never heard in my life. Duplicitous. Duplicitous. Hey, man. What are you, a chemist? Like, relax. I'm not saying that. I know how contracts work. Whoa. Okay. Big flex. But the headline was making it seem like the extension would have to be signed, like, this summer. I'm like, Mm. yo, like, you know how it is. It's like headline cap, and then, like, then there's more information. I'm just saying that. But anyway. So they're, they're talking about Mbappe, Real Madrid, or bus, which is fine. So here's, and but they were saying like he wants to go next season because he's not going to renew his contract. So that's why it was kind of st- silly uh, headline slash rumor. Yeah. Okay, now here's my question: Does Mbappe to Real Madrid next season make sense? Yeah, well, what I'm saying. You're just a fan. You're just a fan. Absolutely. You're just a fan. Okay, can I read something really fast? Sure. This is all the attacking, <clears throat> excuse me, the attacking players that Real Madrid has right now. Okay. I'm going to read them. It's Go a ahead. lot. All right. Eden Hazard, mm-hmm. Gareth Bale. See you. Okay, chill. Can you not do that? <laughs> <laughs> you should have said that for Eden Hazard. <laughs> okay. Well, he could play. Actually, back. actually do that. <laughs> okay. Eden Hazard. Mm-hmm. See you. <laughs> Well, he can go back to Chelsea on loan. Uh, um, Eden Hazard, Gareth Bale. See ya. Thomas Rodriguez. See ya. Rodrigo. <laughs> Been gone. Huh? I'm just kidding. <laughs> he, he got Castilla. Go ahead. Damn. <laughs> He's uh, on a right. Oh, I guess he wants to play left also, huh? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Bench. Go ahead. Rodrigo. Uh, He'll be a new run. Go ahead. A new I mean, bo- new Vasquez. I'm sorry. He'll be a new Vasquez. Benzema. Oh, what? That's a striker. Lu- Lucas, Vax- Lucas Vasquez. Super see ya. Oh, yeah, I'm so done, Vasquez. So we'll go ahead, Asensio. man. Asensio. Asensio. What? He's alive? Bye. <laughs> go play for uh, Bayern or something like that. Luka Jovic. Huh? Hey, he's a striker. Sure. Backup. Backup brigade. Well, you never know about where Mbappe wants to play. Oh, man, well, he can play backup brigade behind Mbappe and Benzema then. Vinicius Jr. Uh, stay in. Stay in. Hang, hang tight, my brother. <laughs> hang tight. Kubo, who's on loan. <laughs> on loan again. <laughs> Brahim Diaz. <laughs> what is that? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, AYSO. Go ahead. And, uh, MLS. And, Marshall Impact. And Mariano Diaz. <laughs> Mariano Diaz? I thought he was playing baseball. <laughs> nah, just... he, he can get the hell out of here. So that's... So we're I heard talking... he's going to go to Lens. <laughs> we got 12 attacking players. I don't Real... know. I counted six. <laughs> We got 12 attacking players on Real Madrid right now. Six that matter. Okay, who's the six that matter? Okay. You can have a... a, a, a you always want okay, least, okay, you on. always want to have can, at least can, one backup per position, which I, I agree. Okay, can I just say it like this? I don't... Not, don't, like, go through the position. Like, who's going to play where? Just say the players. Okay. Benzema, Jovic, uh, 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 Vinicius Jr., um, and then we're good after that. <laughs> nah. Benzema, Jovic, Vinicius Jr., Rodrigo can stay. Um... Hmm, that's all we really need. And then and then you would add Mbappe. So just yeah, five, five. So just five attacking players. And you can players. go from there. Yeah. Just five attacking players. And you go from there, yeah. Go what do you mean go from there? Start playing? Get some more, get some less, whatever. But you you only You're literally the worst. I, if you're adding if ever. you're adding if you're adding Mbappe to the mix and you're telling me out of the twelve who we need to keep and go, I only see you need to keep four of those guys as a necessity. So and you're then, gonna have five total attacking players. Yeah, you can for now. Oh wait a minute. I forgot Isco. 
Oh, East go keep. Okay, okay, so it's 13. Okay. So you're going to keep six or five? Six. I want half that so, team. So so you want Isco, yes. Rodrigo, yes. Benzema, yes. Uh, Vinicius Jr., Jovic, uh-huh. Vinicius Jr., uh-huh. and Mbappe. Yeah. And you know what? If Asensio's leg isn't deformed, I'll take him back too. <laughs> Seven. Oh, come on, man. What? Not even Lucas Vasquez? No, you'd I'm, keep, I'm, you'd, you'd keep, I'm dead ass down with You'd keep Vasquez. Asensio over Lucas Vasquez? Yeah, I would. You're tripping. Only because we need at least one left footer. You're tripping. We need a left footer for the right side. Mm, you're tripping, dog. Um, okay. You're really going to look at that list and come up with a massively bigger number than mine of players you want to keep from that list? Please go. I'll, I'll count it down. Go. I'm not, I didn't say massively bigger. Okay, okay, because I'm tripping, but go ahead. Let's hear you were it. tripping before. I said, how many, six, seven? How many did I put? Relax. How many did I put? I got Isco, uh-huh. Hazard. Uh-huh. Oh, you keep it Hazard? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll keep him too then. He's cool. <laughs> okay, so then we're going to have to He can same. play right wing. I mean, he can play wherever. He can play wherever. Um, Isco, Hazard, um, Rodrigo, Benzema, mm-hmm. Lucas Vasquez, mm-hmm. Vinicius Jr., mm-hmm. and Mbappe. Literally shorter than mine now. Yeah, but I wouldn't keep Luko Jovic. You just tried to come at me saying I didn't come at I'm you. I'm a terrible man. You, no, you sit. You literally. You, 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 you literally kept on Asensio, this air. You kept on, Asensio on, live on air in the radio waves. You, you said, said you said I'm, leg. I did, but now so here, that's here, why here I'm you go false you. news. You go that's, fake. That's why I'm coming. Here you go. At you. Alternative facts. I did say that, but you also said I'm a terrible manager. You are, and then you just came with a number shorter than mine. No, I had more actually. You didn't even keep. A, you didn't even keep a lefty. You even keep a you backup for Ben. Ben's much is out there solo bolo. No, and Bobby can play up the middle. He's not. He's he's gonna play probably the same amount of games as Benzema. Caesar, I, you said a backup. You can always put Mbappe in the middle. He plays very well. I know, but board. I'm saying, wh- why is that game Benzema not playing? He could he be injured. The same amount of games. He could be injured. And Ben and Bobby was injured too. If they're both injured, you just have to lose those games. <laughs> <laughs> but he's score striker like he did in Spain. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I mean, just you can just change the formation. But I'm just saying that, like, of course you can get it more again, players. But um, it's just, I think that if you had to make room for somebody, those are the names you can all clear out. I don't even know the hell poor Hamas. I don't even know on the books anymore. Just go play I, in honestly, Monaco. I forgot about go him. Go play in Monaco, day. big dog. I, like, they talked about him at Columbia. I was like, oh, my God, I forgot about Hamas. I felt bad. Yeah. <laughs> I like Hamas. I don't like Hamas a lot. Beef with Hamas. And honestly, I think he's a good player. I just feel like he's not a 4-3-3 he's not a four three three player. I mean, it Although be... he has played well when he's played for Real Madrid this season. I'm not even going to do that to him. He's come in this season and he's played well. He's got assists. I think he's got a goal or think, two. I just don't think his style is what Zidane is looking for. And I think it makes it tough for him. I, you know, uh, I'm not saying I just, his, no. Hamas plays bad. I just don't think that his style is what Hamas likes to see in that position. I think also Hamas is a star. And he doesn't really need... He like he should be a starter somewhere. So it doesn't really work out for him. He's England. He'd be huge. Maybe. I just don't I think, think it'd it, be huge out there. Like, when you talk about Real Madrid's midfield, like, Tony Kroos, Modric, Casemiro, or, like, whoever else you're going to put at CDM. Um, I don't even think, I don't even feel like they really have a backup CDM anymore. Um, they no, just we kinda, lost your rent. It was a baller. Yeah, they Super just, baller. They just kind of put uh, Kroos in the, like, back like that, whatever. Casemiro's out. Um, he just ends up kind of being, and, and Isco, too. Like, it just kind of kind of ends up being, like, you know, I think Zidane is hesitant to take out that midfield and put someone like Isco or Hamas in there because they're really like number tens. Yeah, and that uh, it's a four three three. It don't really like work out for them like that. Um, although Isco can get it cracking no matter what, and so can Hamas too. <laughs> um, I would love for for Real Madrid to keep Isco. Hamas can leave. Um, but what about Sensio? I've never been a big Sensio guy. I, anyway. I just don't think he's bad as a backup. I don't think he's awful like a. In a backup role. Well, he's still young, and I feel like he would also want to be playing somewhere, getting more reps, especially coming off an ACL. I think coming off an ACL, he's going to be trying to like build his value. Yeah, I think you do in that better. In a backup role, you can do that. Well, I th- no, I think you do that better playing somewhere else where you can get yeah. more regular competition. All right. um, I like you, Lucas Vasquez a lot, and I think Lucas, Lucas Vasquez is a, is a utility player, kind of like Nacho. He can yeah, play, he does do it all. He can play, and, 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 just, and they put him at right back this season, too. They I put know. him at right back. Um or maybe it was late last season. I, can't I, I don't. Know. Even, I think it was last year, not this year. Yeah, but he can do that though, and he can do it. Yeah. You know, I think it was this season actually. There's been 12 games. I think that I think I did see my right back a little bit this season. Um, can we just get? Can we, Ojo, get rid of, can we go to Vasco and get squared? That'd be cool. 
That'd be dope, but I feel like that's some too many black players. Hey man, what are you talking about? <laughs> um, but I give Mbappe also. So, so you think? So you think? Um, you think they should break the bank for uh, Mbappe next? I think they team? should break the bank because you're not a club that's known to thrive off of saving your funds. I'm sorry, the reputation over the years has been Gala- Gala- yeah, Galaxy. Money to blow. When I was a kid. I was mesmerized just by the nickname Galaxy, the Galactico. I thought that was so cool to me. They were called that. That's so cool. when I watched those games, I saw everybody with platinum and silver cleats on. I was mesmerized by this lineup. And that's what you got to keep the tradition going. Yeah, you love Greg, shoes, you, you, You've had... Jesus Christ. You've yeah. had... You've had... You've had... Sensational years. The last five years. Highly successful. Highly. For sure. Any club would trade all their funds to have the same kind of year. The thing is... is the thing is, is now you're you had five years and learn from all the teams and other sports that have had dynasties and learn what happens in the transition phase. Mm-hmm. The transition phase, as hard as it is to let go, you gotta let go of some of the previous talent. You gotta rebuild and start over. But rebuilding doesn't mean you need to start over from the ground up. You're no. Real Madrid. You have the funds to rebuild and stay at the top. Stay and you at the have peak. players. You have players to. to and offload this year, too. you're still top five. So yeah, it's they're like, second right now. You're still doing fine this year, and you have the leeway to get it cracking. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I think they should break the bank. Uh, um, I, I, maybe, maybe pray, pray to the Lord that maybe somebody wants Gareth Bale as much as he wants himself. I think if he could, he, he wants him. But Gareth Bale loves Bale more than other teams like him. So maybe somebody will come. Maybe China, please, will come pay this man to get him out of here, and I, then it frees up money, and time, and wages. That that especially that size of a wage would free up. Plenty of room for someone like Mbappe to come in. Here's here's my thing. This is what I'm thinking though. Mm. I wonder how it looks for a team if you are like selling like five, six players to get one guy. Does it make you look a little bit desperate as an establishment? You know what it does. You know what I mean, I'm gonna keep it real. Can it can it can it I'm look like can it can it look like damn dog? Like look what they're they're bending over backwards to get this guy. I, you know? The thing is, of course, they don't do everything all at once. It'd be spread out over time, so it wouldn't be so obvious that five dudes are dropped. But I think that if it's five guys that are top tier, yeah, it's kind of like, whoa, what's going on? But you have guys that are floating out of time playing. It's not like they got rid of their whole starting lineup no, to get No, of course, him. of course. That would be like, yo, like, if we got rid of, like, it's not Isco, like, it's not, all, this would be like, like... It's not like Ricky Williams' uh, draft. Yeah, if, if they're getting rid of the whole damn uh, team just to get one draft pick, that's different. So, so, but, 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 but do I don't think it, I don't think it makes, I do, I know, I know, I get what you're saying, but I think that only applies if they had gotten rid of, like, let's say they got rid of Sergio Ramos, Ron, all these dudes, you're like, God damn, they all follow all these ways just to get this dude, they're broke as hell. They're desperate. That would be the case. But if you're getting rid of, like, Asensio, come on, a ACL tear, Hamas not really getting burned, Bale, who's not really a human playing on team anymore (laughs) and playing golf, if that's what the case is, then it's like, well, yeah, I mean, it's a good thing they did that in order to get a guy who, I'm going to keep it real. Like, we can say we want about Mbappe. I mean, the guy is a stellar talent. I mean, yeah, no, we've watched from day one. And when you watch players around the world, that's another place you, you can, go. You, you can, don't be you, seeing all these Mbappes around. You don't see no. that. You somebody, see, somebody could argue he's the best player in the world. I wouldn't even be I wouldn't that. either. If, if you, I'm Based sure on that. His age and then if, his, if you put stats, maybe it's one thing. But if you put him out in the field and you show me skills and stuff in video I, and some coach is breaking it down why he's the best, I'm like, dude, you're honestly right. I, yeah, I I'm could, not going to disagree I, with that. You could you could definitely argue he's. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying he is. But he, somebody could argue you, that. you talk about Real Madrid being this because he's, he's still and, 19. He's 19 years old. It's insane. He's going to be 20 next month. He, yeah. he, 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 this is a team of galactic proportions, right? So what better jersey fitting for the, that guy to come home into that team? I mean, like, you want a guy who's, who blows the blows the doors off of off of a, of a, of a showcase of, of, hey, here we have a reveal show. That's the guy who sells out an arena for a reveal, jersey reveal, because he's out on mm-hmm. the team now. Mm-hmm. You want that again. Real Madrid fans miss that feeling. They want that again. Yeah, to, so, my, to my knowledge, he speaks Spanish, too. I'm sure he does. From, I mean, from what I've heard. I mean, the, I mean, it, I know that it was... I mean, I don't blame him for being Real Madrid or bust. Because, I mean, we all saw the posters of him as a kid being a big Ronaldo fanatic. and he's, he's a, a Real Madrid kid. fan. Yeah. He's a Real Madrid fan. It's fine. Think about it. People like to get upset about that. I'm like, dude, he's he's still 19. Why, he was, why do people get upset a, about that? He wasn't because they're like, oh, he shouldn't be showing like partial or whatever to a team. It's so Everybody stupid. has fans. It's so, ever, it's so stupid you because broke, I'm like, oh, you must have not have been childhood at one point yeah, in your life. They don't know they're going to be a professional one day. I mean, you like the sport. I mean, even Zlatan, who I don't even like that much, was talking about how much, how obsessed he was a child with Brazilian Ronaldo. He hmm. thought Ronaldo was the greatest thing ever, and that's why he wanted to go to AC Milan. That's why he wanted to go to Barcelona. He's seen them wear those jerseys. He wanted to play 
for those teams lost too. Mm. They were all fans. And Buffy's 19? That wasn't even that long ago. It was like five years ago. He was 13 years old, man. Mm-hmm. That's insane. So, yeah, let him do his thing. Yeah, and I and I think also... Um, I, I, and, uh, and just, sorry, one more thing. Just to clarify okay, there. Okay. Just because I know I'm a Real Madrid fan, but if this case was even about Barcelona, I'd be saying the same thing. I'd be saying the same thing because I'm like, look, dog... He's a big fan of. He wants to play for him. It's his dream club to play for. There's pictures of him playing for Barcelona. Let let it go. Let him do everything he can to bring him there. I would say the same thing if it was Barcelona or whatever. Yeah. Man, you. I think it'd be a mistake for him to go there while Messi's still there. But same. I'd be like, it ain't gonna be like that, buddy. But if Messi had left and had this period yeah, yeah, year, I'd sure. be like, dog, go, yeah, yeah go, sure. go shine. I, you know, okay. I want to say this really quite really quick. They were talking on uh, BN about. Um, who should be the person to replace Luis Suarez? And obviously, we um, talked about that before. And we we talked. Our 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 guy was Lacazette. Of course, they didn't bring him. Lacazette would murder. Um, oh, he'd be too good. Yeah, I'd be upset. What somebody said. I'm like imagining back heels. Yeah, what somebody <laughs> said was um, La, uh, Lautaro Martinez, and I was like, I think that'd be bad. Like, I think that I think that maybe because he's what 22. I think he's 21, 22. Yeah. yeah. I'm like he he might not be feeling that like trying to be a messy shadow shit. Dude. You know like, what though? He might be like nah, dude. Like I'm if I'm gonna go to Barcelona, like I'm not trying to be <laughs> shadow man. No, like if if you follow read a little bit about Lotaro, that's a that's a dude that came from the gutter. Okay. Oh, one thousand. He came from the gutter. I he mean, did, that, yeah, I've, I've, yeah, yeah. I was reading him about him. I was like, yo, that dude made it out. Yeah, for so sure. He made it out, and then it was only three years ago. He was like a player that was valued like a, a one million. Now he's valued like super high money. He's so a baller. he's a baller. He knows what he's worth. And then, and man, if I'm him, I can only he's he seems to have a strong personality in a good way. Like he gets it cracking. Mm-hmm. I don't want to put Messi in this in that group. I don't want to put a guy like that with Messi. No, because I don't want friction on my team. If I'm if I'm running Barcelona. And it's not even. I'm. I'm not, not trying to get you. I'm not saying I don't want to get you the, the best player. Of course Messi I do. But it's not a Barcelona success. Does not come from Barcelona getting every single best player. It's getting the best players that are compatible with Messi, who are gonna take a role with him. Yeah, they're gonna. Sub- 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 Suarez like, was so down to be the B side. He was yeah. like, "Look, man, I'm. We're, we're bros. I'm. A, I'm gonna do my thing for you. But I'm gonna be way over here. And whatever you don't score, damn sure I'm gonna score it. Like, yeah. and he's gonna get a crack on his own. Now he's holding gonna look but out for. But him. you're the man, though. Yeah, you're the man, though. This is yeah. your house, and, and that was fine. So you gotta find a guy who's able to be like that. I can't imagine Lacazette coming to Barcelona and be like, "Yo, I Martin run this Martin. joint." I'm saying, I'm saying Lacazette. I can't oh, imagine oh, oh. him. So that's why no, we no, think he he's perfect. Yeah. He he's a guy that acclimates around everybody. Lautaro's out there and go get go get it cracking. Yeah, he's he. You know what I think? Of, I think of like a running back that's north south. I'm gonna mm-hmm. go and get this goal with whatever means possible, and I'm and I'm fired up about it. And so I, and I don't see a young dude because because I, I don't want and I definitely don't want a young Argentina dude like that out there. And and that's why I think Messi might not want him. Messi might be like nah, like he might be he might start. A thriving and stealing my shine. Messi's and, not. And if 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 Messi gets old and he like leaves Barcelona and like it's like Laturo's time at the Argentine national team and like he gets like a Copa America or something like that, they're just gonna be like forgetting about Messi. So I don't think Messi would want him there. I can and, imagine if they had a Copa America. Let's say in the first couple matches without him play, and with Messi playing, he got zero goals. Right? Messi gets benched or somebody else. Messi gets hurt. Lothado comes in because Messi gets hurt. He gets like three goals. Jesus Christ. Just three? I'd be like, oh, no. This yeah. is this is what Messi doesn't want. Messi don't want to pass no fucking torches around. Absolutely not. <laughs> and I think If you bring gonna... him over there, he's going to be like, don't be passing this torch. I ain't passing no torches because I ain't going to pass him the ball. And, and, and I think that's kind of what's <laughs> happened with uh, uh, Osman Dembele, too. He's like 20 years old, 22 or something like that. He's probably like... Why I gotta be uh, subservient to this guy? Like Man. I'm a goon and a baller Man. on my own. When he first went to Borussia Dortmund, and then he was over there running a practice with Albuma Yang, I was watching him practice, and I was like, "That guy's insane." He's a baller. I, they have like the the barrel cones out there. He's throwing, and this is when I told you I was confused about what foot he was. He don't even. He know. was doing crosses, and he was nailing the ball inside the tire hoop on one side, then doing it on the other foot on the other side. I'm like. And he's like blurring down the field. I'm like, oh, this is the gr- who he's is this guy? He's a baller. Yeah. So when they got the Millie, we made it podcast here. Said it when it happened. That's dope. That's great. But that's a right wing. 
You weren't facilitating the need of the team, which was the left side. You needed a deep left guy. It's cool he's two-footed, but he loves that right side. Mm. And he gets a cracking on that right side. <clears throat> I can't imagine it being a comfortable situation for him or anybody. And I'm sure he's young. And people like to attack young people for behaviors and mannerisms or whatever. But maybe his behavior is associated how he... How his way of retaliating of how uncomfortable he is. He might just be like, I'm just as good as Messi. He might be saying he that. He might be saying like he, that. He might be, and honestly, he might be saying that. He might be getting arguments about it. He may be leaving. Whatever. People forget this dude is mad young. Okay? <laughs> he's he's still young as hell. He may not be handling it to the, his situation in the most professional ends, but whatever. He's a young guy. So, He's in there probably saying that's that guy's whatever. I can do all that plus more, and I got two feet. Yeah, he th- and th- and, and that might be an issue there. They're like, yo, come on, dog. This is, you can't be saying that. It, it, so it's whatever. That and that's kind of how I feel like Martinez. Like it, he might he might not want to be there and being like, okay, I'm gonna spend these next three years just being in your shadow. Like, no, I didn't come here for no, that. No, like, no. I want to come here and be the man if too. Any, if I it, want the opportunity to be the man. No, if anything, if, if like if he was looking for a La Liga move. If he was like at like Atletico, whatever, like he, you could see him being like the guy, mm-hmm. and then being like, "Whoa, like who's really the best Argentine?" and that kind of thing happening. I think he would thrive more in a situation where he's not on the same team and he has a competition for that going on. Like yeah. he wants to prove himself. Proving yourself away from being in the same team with the guy is a much better situation. Yeah, because Messi's a dictator. Yeah, yeah, um, he is. And, and Lautaro, and I, and Lautaro, I don't want to stop his shine. I want him to keep going. No, yeah, he's a baller. Yeah, um, I don't. Cheer for Arsenal, but I like seeing a yeah, young talent yeah, you do, do your yeah, thing, yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah, you do. Are you um, kidding me? Okay, okay, really quick. Um, let's talk about really quick. Um, okay, yeah, let's stay in Spain. The Spanish women's, all the teams, the top flight women footballers in Spain are going. Even Nick Tat? I think she plays in Spain. I'm not sure. I know she plays for Spain, but like. Oh, know, she, oh she's Spanish club, club players. Club. Okay, okay. I thought um, she's a national team. They are going. Well, this is three days ago. They went on strike indefinitely over a de- over a disagreement about paying conditions. Ninety three percent of the players by the uh, employed wow. by the by the sixteen first division clubs voted to go on strike. Um, after, now, oh. I believe Real Madrid just bought a team too, right? Mallorca or something like that. Uh, uh, well, they, they, bought they just they just got a women's team. Yeah, they just, that's crazy. Um, yeah, they went on strike. Um, yeah, it says it, it says it began the weekend of the 16th, 17th. So I guess this weekend they won't be playing unless they've settled it. Since then, I haven't seen anything. Um, the main conflict, they said the main point of the conflict uh, between the clubs and players is that they have part-time contracts. Um, and they're asking for a minimum of a minimum of 12,000 euros. Oh. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. They're asking for a minimum of 12,000 euros net a month for players on a part-time salary while the clubs offer 8,000. Um, the, the vice president of the AFE women's football committee committee said we are 100% footballers every hour of the day. And, um, basically saying like, we deserve to be treated that way. Um, I was like, wait, what? uh, This committee represents the the women who want to strike. Okay. I was like, who, who is this guy? Yeah. Um, what's her name? Her name is kind of interesting. Um, I don't even know how to pronounce that name. She plays for uh, Athletic Club. I know a Tirapu. I know a, yeah. I, 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 That's fine. I mean, I wonder if Athletic Club has the same policy as they do for the men's so they only get uh, Basque players for the women's team. Oh, I don't yeah. know. I don't think so. Maybe. Uh, I mean, I don't know. But anyway... Um, I thought it was really dope that they're going on strike, and we talked about the women's, uh, the the U.S. women's national team going on strike, so they could get what they want. Hopefully, I, and I did look at a few of the women's national team, a U.S. women's national team twitters to see if they had said anything about it. They hadn't, um, but hopefully that hopefully this can be an inspiration for them. If you want to have your wages increased, if you want this. Uh, if you want these actions to be taken, you got to take some extreme actions. Agreed. And maybe I think go you do. on strike. No, you should because you need to understand your value as a person, mm-hmm. as an employee. Yeah. Um, and you need to let your employer know that you deserve more than what you're. You should be compensated fairly. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm a hundred percent in support of what these women are doing. I think it's great. As much as I love 
Spanish soccer and Spanish league soccer, and I think it's it's also cute and seeing that the, the these clubs spending money in terms of oh we're gonna spend money and and putting here uh, <laughs> putting money into these uh, female female uh, leagues and, and women's teams to start. At the same time, you got you can't just uh, open a team for good business. You got to be able to fund it correctly and pay people mm-hmm. adequately. This part time player thing is BS already. Yeah. Don't don't have these uh, women being considered part time players, but then calling them up for national competitions. That's not how it works in life. So if that's going on, then they should be getting their full wages. That's ridiculous. And then I can't. They're not even asking. I ask for twelve thousand euros a month. They're not even asking for a lot. You know what? Let's just divide up all the bail salary and just give it out to the women. <laughs> you feel me? This guy. Uh-huh. But yeah, he likes golfing so much. Yeah, I just thought that was dope um, yeah, that they're absolutely. going for it, and hopefully their d- uh, demands are um, are met. Okay, Caesar. we made it podcasts with you, indeed. Um, okay, Caesar, you want to talk a little bit about that article you read about? We your can talk about Bahia. Yeah, your favorite team, Bahia. It's not my favorite team in Brazil. Yeah, yeah what'd you read about? Um, I, sent, I sent you the article. I was like, I don't feel like what, reading it. To be honest with you, what really? I, I read most of it. Yeah. Okay, to be honest with you, it was actually kind of lighting for me to read about it because it. Kind of shed a light on what I really didn't know much about in terms of Bahia being so uh, pro and, and and humanitarian work and what they do in terms of like the culture and and trying to keep you know very being very essentially democratic. I thought that was really cool. Um, the you only know, team up there that's won a, Jesus, that's man. won a title. Only we know, only team up there. I mean, you're talking about 1980s. That's great. They've won um, two. 1950. You count that? Look at you, eight. changed man. When, when is when is uh, Victoria won one? Huh? When is Victoria one one? had a harder struggle to poor. Um, okay, like, sure. You're attacking the poor. That's okay. the issue you like to yeah, do. Yeah, well, they just allow black people. Bayes had. They like, just allowed this black article, people. This article is cute. What are you talking about? Victoria just First of all, we had allowed, allowed recently. Black. Yeah, it's the 30s. That's recent in, in comparison to the time of the world. Yeah. Were you born in the 30s? No. Shut up. Okay. So anyways, um, I, you deserve that. How dare you <laughs> speak, speak on the name of Victoria. Victoria had Vampito way back in the day. Vampito was a rogue goon forever. So anyways. Couldn't have been there 20 years earlier than that. He was there 20 years ago. So anyways. Uh, <laughs> it's cool. I'm, of course, I'm a can fan. Can you tell some of the can things I talk? that they do? Can okay, I'm, tell- a, I'm over this. Okay, <laughs> you're being an asshole. I'm a fan of Victoria Soccer. It's a great, but I think it's important to shine. This is bigger than Victoria Soccer. This is Victoria, bigger than the sports school Victoria. This is a mess, but this is about Bahia. This is about the state. This is about um, the culture that surrounds the beautiful culture. That's that's not just uh, Portuguese related. It has to do with Africans and and then what's built the foundations of Salvador and Bahia and, and the state in general. And I think that EC Victoria Bahia has shown an incredible uh, dedication the last two years towards. Uh, of course, with this new president spending money uh, properly um, since the 2014 World Cup, they mentioned that you know every single other uh, uh, stadium was doing inflated ticket prices. They try to keep theirs following the model of, um, of keep based upon the ticket price value and ticket price sales, keeping the the tickets around the same range to make it fair for the people. I mean, I know it's legit been cheap because I had family going to games, so I'm like, damn, those that, that, that's great. Like people, anybody can just afford it. That's great. I don't want it to be affordable for everybody. So those games they were have by the six stadium? at the base. So yeah, the function well, they, they weren't. They weren't at no. They, first of all, me, bro. They did not go all the way to the Baja Dome. That's way out in the sticks. Because mm, Ponte Nova is really cute. It's beautiful. It's in the middle oh. of downtown. It's gorgeous. It's by a fountain. Not, not like I'll tell you right now. Where, where Victoria play? Victoria play out there in the Boondocks. Mm, out there. Where they don't out there in the Baja. People. When they come out to the Baja Dome. Where they don't. Let, let the Baja. People. They definitely do. The Baja Dome. Oh, is rough yeah, out there. You don't even right. know about the collabs you're, we got you're, out there. You're, you're proud of that. You know what I'm saying? We got a cracking out there. It's rough out here, <laughs> homie. You come, what is you guys come proud, correct. Proud of come correct about by Victoria. But look, softest dude in the world. Tom. Listen, yeah, okay, tested though. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Well, I think what is doing great. I mean, can one you, of my, one something? of my fa- if you don't stop interrupting me, I wouldn't have to keep making that statement though. Okay, can you say some of the things they do? Because <laughs> for whatever reason, you're, you don't want to give them their full props. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> well, you got to do it. Can you do it, please? Are you going to make me say the things they do? You're looking up Instagram pictures. You don't even care. Yeah, you picture. are. You're looking, what is this, man? <laughs> what is this, man? Get off. <laughs> I don't see about these pictures. Listen, <laughs> Bahia, one of my favorite things they did was they did the 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 shout out to uh, Black History Month in Brazil mm. by mentioning all, all uh, prior uh, uh, influential uh, black people in Brazil's history on the back of the jerseys. That was incredible. Um, they've done uh, uh, in 
And I think one other cool point they made is because I think a lot of people like to say is, oh, when clubs take a political side, it, it isolates players. But they made it emphatic in saying that players, they know players' team have voted for Bolsonaro. They know if players have, have stupidly voted for Bolsonaro on a team. Ooh. Because um, um, if you did that, I'm sorry, you're a clown, whatever. Like, I'm Ooh. sorry, you are. Um, but they're like, you can still have a place in this team, but this team's foundation will be about democracy. It's going to be about democracy. Democracy is what brought this team to its fruition. It's going to keep this team going. I think that's really cool. Um, I they're, they're I know it's Bahia likes to pretend like they're on top of the world, but they're sixth. That's cute. You're sixth in a league. Relax. In the Wait, are they in the top league? Yeah, they are. Uh, where's, but, where's Victoria? Second. Second division. Yeah. Nice. Bahia was just in third four years ago, so don't try to come at me all like but you're dope. they're not dope. anymore, right? Oh, yeah, they're not anymore. You're right there, buddy. So, look, um, yeah. Bahia, um, that's good what they're doing. I have no animosity towards them for that. They're doing incredible. It's it's cute to be a fan of opposing teams, but this is bigger than just a stupid soccer rivalry. This is a team that's showing a, a dedication towards towards educating its people upon the the values of what's important and in, in, in the, the environment in, in the environment and the history of, of, of the people of Bahia. You know, it's mentioned that gay, Bahia, gay rights. Uh, Salvador is a black city. Um, and it's, it's a city full of African love and values and tradition. And this club has shown a compassion towards it they instead black, of, they instead of an coach. avoidance. They got a black coach. Victoria they do have black two coach? black coaches in, in, in Brazil. They, they, no, but we used to have a black coach. Now we know he oh, got you fired. Did. Oh, you did have I mean, a yeah, we got relegated. We're supposed to keep him? Okay, you screaming on me like Victoria's good, and they're not. So. <laughs> and we used to have a coach named uh, Fuchs, though. That was kind of fun. Okay, big German coach was, over here. Yeah, that was a dope ass name. Okay, now we got some big guy. R- Roger Machado is not not good. Yeah, um, Roger. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, but he's black though. But he ain't getting. He is young. black. Yeah, he's I know. They buy him, and they're doing good. He's a good coach. Yeah. They're a good team. Yeah, yeah. but y'all what ain't are you got saying? I'm, you're I'm the saying, one. You're the one. It's a game to fight. I'm Victoria, giving them nothing but props. I'm saying Victoria Victoria's is not a, doing good. A Nazi team. <laughs> Victoria is not a Nazi <laughs> team. They're way poorer than Bahia. Why though? Because they don't care about human rights? You think human rights funnels you more money? You never know. Oh, then what's Bayer's real intentions? To make positive mo- to make more money or to help make, the people? You, sometimes when you put the blessings out to people, you get blessings back. Were, were you watching Kanye on Joel Osteen? Is that what's I going was on here? Not, he definitely you definitely that. were. He said, can you not talk on the side there because it messed up my flow? <laughs> yeah, he said that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Anyway, um, okay, so yeah, that's dope. I, I encourage anybody to go read that article about what Bayer is doing. And other clubs around the world can learn from what like, uh, like, is doing. I'm going to keep it real. Like When I read stuff like that, keep it a stack. that that sways my fandom. That makes me appreciate that club. Like I, I can like Victoria can just because my family switch? told you. Uh, that that stuff like that makes me want to switch over can because switch I right love now? that. I'll do it. So tell, say us, show I'm us. not saying right now. I have to think about it. I got to sleep on it. You don't even care about Brazilian football, dog. You don't care. You, Caesar, come on, man. Just you know, because I'm not even watching me, I don't care about it. I, follow, I, not, I check you, it on Google. You say you're not, what? Just because I don't watch every does mean I don't care about it. Okay, you don't care. Come on, man. What are you doing right now? You care more about uh, Italian League doing monkey chants. I don't even care about it because on ESPN Plus. <laughs> I'm just joking. If it wasn't that damn right, I wouldn't watch it. Okay, Caesar. Uh, <laughs> that's true because I used to be Get one BN over on, uh, get, get La Liga over there. I'm down. Okay, really quick. Um, your boy Terry Henry has uh, made the move to Montreal Impact. I'm, I'm sorry. Did we um, let me say it real quick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We've talked about so many great things today. So many fun segments. Some some positive, some negative, and some stupid. I'm really upset that uh, this Henry to Montreal Impact gets time on our show. But let's what do it. What the hell? Honoree, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm really salty Honoree, dude. I'm mad at him. Okay, well, tell me why. I didn't like how he treated those Monaco kids. I didn't think it was very cool. Uh, um, people were posting up highlight clips of him, like, st- like, like flexing on the, the team, on the players. I'm like, dog, that's not cool. Like, I didn't him, that. like the one video of him, like, mad, mean mugging the player for not, sh- uh, uh, Closing the chair in front of him, I'm like, "What are you was like? Chill out, dog. What are you? What are you, what are you a dictator? Like, relax. Yeah. So you get to go coach MLS, man. You uh, rise into the occasion. Go ahead, man. <laughs> Hope you ball out in MLS coaching Montreal Impact. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I don't think it's a good look for him because I think what what I think the issue for him at Monaco was that he was he was coaching a lot of players that weren't that good. And, and a lot of them was because they were young. Very young. And I think he, he was like frustrated. Three 16 year olds I think he was frustrated with, like, their ability. And he they, they were saying, like Oliver was saying, like, he would come out and try to show us how to do the stuff. 
And I think he's frustrated because he's like, why can't you do the stuff I can do? Yeah. And and already that makes you a bad coach. But if you're going to continue coaching, then you need to coach really good players yeah. then. So you can't so you don't have to be doing all that. You, you can't be going to Montreal Impact where they're no, you literally are, garbage. You're getting your 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 learning from Arsenal as a, as a helping a team out. Then you went to Belgium as an official assistant coach. Mm-hmm. Then you went to Monaco as a head coach. Mm-hmm. And now you're Montreal Impact. Now, I'm not trying to diss this, but like this is a talent rate sp- scale yeah, no, here. No, no, that's not a diss. That's a fact. That's a big fact on the talent scale. You were at Belgian. I'm sure you could pull pull over some of those ballers. Even Young Yana Watts or whatever his name is. Young Gigawatts. Yan Mod. Yan Mods with two J's in it. You could tell two J's over there. Hey, man, do this move. Get- and you know what? 2J's going to do that move because he has skills. He has a yeah. skill set. He may not do it in a game, but he'll do it in that practice to show you. Yeah. You go over to Monaco. Some of the players can do it. Maybe some they can. can. Some, some players can. You go to can. Montreal. Impact. None of them can. Ignacio Piatti is like 39. He's dude. the baller of the team. Yeah, and he's like the number 10. He's like 46. Dude. The last good player they've had in their history was Didier Drogba, and he was 49 when he played there. <laughs> yeah, you feel and me? And he was balling out of his <laughs> mind. Yeah, now they, he's playing in Phoenix, co-owning a team. And yeah, I saw they, him. They went, to the, they went to the CONCACAF Champions League final that, that, that year when he was there. I think. He did. And they got smoked by uh, Club America. Big smoked. Big um, smoked. It was cute, though. Yeah. I, I just, I'm just i just like, I don't know why. Like, I, it just seemed like maybe he, like, trying to get some bread. I'm like, dog, like. Uh, he wants to get some bread and speak French. Is that what he's trying to do? I guess. Look, I'm just man, like, dog, look, look, like, look, look. You, 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 if I was him, I would have tried to go maybe to, like, Maybe like a different French team might have worked out. He just needs to be on a good team. But what, maybe what? 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 How, how come he didn't try to go to like, uh, uh, um, you know, Olympique or something like that? You know, you, you never pick which one. Uh, OLM, OLM, <laughs> Marseille. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, maybe there or a team like that it has better talent. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, you need yeah. to be in a place for Yeah, you talent. need to be in a team that's up in that top three, top four. Yeah. In, in I still France. think he'd be. Uh, I'm I don't still think going he'd be PSG. I still think he'd be good there. I don't think he'd be bad at PSG either. I'm yeah. sure. I, I you think, gotta be around good players. Yeah, Belgium. I'm sure he was over there having a good time. Yeah, they're all ballers. That, that's a, that's a, and that's a national team. Lord geez, that's a good team. Yeah, he probably they ain't he won probably, shit. But he probably would be a good national team coach, France. You don't even know. It's probably not even that bad. Yeah, but you go to Montreal, dog. Yeah, that's, you're asking for a hard road back to the top, but that's tough. They haven't been there. Uh, is Henri willing to really deep do some deep soul searching? Is he gonna be flying? Uh, Alaska Airlines with know, them. <laughs> you feel I me? can imagine him going out there and well, getting mad. They the suck, Rebels. and he's gonna be like, he's gonna make. Was he gonna make MLS come back? Because that's what it seems like when you go out there and beat everybody at practice. He's only forty two. Oh my god, um, only forty two. They la- the last time they were in the playoffs was two thousand sixteen. Yeah, that year. Uh, it was after that year. Um, but yeah, I, should... I can't name three players. I just know Piatti. That's it. Is he still on the team? Mm-hmm. Oh Jesus. He might not be next season. I have no idea who's on. I have no idea who's on the team. Mm-hmm. Oh, the bald guy from uh, um, Orlando City. Did he go back? I don't he know. Used to he's be still there. Because they they move around that so French much. Dude. Dog, that you sucked. know they they did the draft. So they, they did the draft today. Uh, uh, no, I know who you're talking about, but I forgot his name. Um, they did the draft today for Inter Miami and Nashville SC, which I didn't even know was real. Wait, wait, there's another, there's another team too. Yeah, they did. A dra- Who's expect- Nashville? I had no idea. Who, I thought it was who Sacramento. Who said we need a team in Nashville? You know, you know who went to Inter Miami? Yeah, Lean Win. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, damn, dog, you can't even, can't even get no burn for LAFC. You know he's so down over that pink and black. That's fresh right there. Yeah. Uh, Come on, dog. Nashville got a team. Mm-hmm. You're gonna tell me this is a major. This is a major you uh, uh, sport representing the United States, and they got teams in St. Louis, uh, Nashville, Wait, Sacramento's going to get one. St. Louis has a team? Yeah, they got a team too, right? Not, not Since now. he has a team. Yeah, well, they got a football team too. Uh, I get it, but come on, man. Come on, man. Tennessee Titans, don't they play in Nashville? Huh? Do the Tennessee Titans play Nashville? Yeah, they do. But yeah. they're called Tennessee Titans, and they're not called Nashville or whatever going to be called Roughnecks or Rovers. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay. They should at least call it Tennessee some. Okay, so I don't know if you uh, kept up with this or like knew what. Yes, we have another thing, dog. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know if you really uh, was focused on this or not. If there was some like big um, Bellator match this weekend, <laughs> um, but um, or King of the Ring or whatever the hell you watch. I don't watch King. Of, what the hell's King of the Ring, man? I don't know what you watch. Um, I watch UFC and I barely watch Bellator. Barely. You watch now. some other competition. <clears throat> 
I'm not talking. S- I'm, not, I'm not shooting. I did watch some wrestling. It was kind of lit. You watch what? I did watch some sumo wrestling. It was kind of lit. <laughs> I was watching the Magisuka brand. That's Caesar cool. That's top watch five any division. sport where a man don't wear a shirt, he's in there. That's me right there. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Um, That's why I like when people score goals. I'm good. <laughs> did you uh, pay attention much to uh, Colin Kaepernick's workout situation? Absolutely, I did. It. Actually, I not. I want to hear your opinion. I not only it. watched the Fox um, comment on it, which was I think Nick Wright is that his name, the dude on uh, ESP uh, Fox, and I watched Stephen A. Uh, on dance around I'm on it and over there with his you know doing this I saw Stephen A get it cracking Max Kelman did you watch Max Kelman Max Kelman was repping hard he was getting his JJ Reddick on that was mm-hmm. cool um, I did watch the workout well I mean not necessarily did you watch the workout but did you, did you follow yeah, what was I did. going on what would you think let me make my first observation okay. on, on Kaepernick physically uh, okay no no can you talk about what you thought about the situation and then we'll talk then talk about physical okay from what I've gathered is that now on this on this, on what this You've situation... You've gone hard at Kaepernick before. I have. And I'm going to keep it a stack right now. Yeah. I have no problem with what he did. Okay. I have absolutely no problem with him going, what's this weird-ass waiver I got? Mm. Why I got all these stipulations that Jay-Z co-signed on? Mm. Why can't Ooh. I do all this here? Jigga, man. Look, I'm, I mean, he came out with a Kunta Kente shirt. He's doing his thing. He's repping for the fullest, even though he sold out earlier or whatever. But he went out there. He's trying to get it cracking. Okay. Now, yes, anybody trying to side with the NFL, I'm like, you're cute. You might as well have been siding with Britain back in the day. Ooh. Because if you're siding with Wait, the NFL. back in what day? Back before America was created as a nation. Because when you side with the NFL, that tells me that you're against people um, rising against big corporate, big business, and and, and, and against these this team of NFL owners, these white billionaires, as, as, as Stephen A. Smith alluded to the mass. He said and that? He called them the white billionaires aren't going to have it. Uh, th- that's great, Stephen. And I know Stephen A. got mad today, and he was saying that you don't know my life, you don't know what I've been through. I went to Philadelphia Herald. I'm like, that's cool. All those happy about white owners, too. That's fine. Whatever. That's not the point, Stephen A. said. The point in life is not that because you made a statement and we took it away, you get mad at the people for that. Because to me, when you make a statement that's not heard wrong, maybe you didn't elaborate it correctly. Maybe you didn't maybe you didn't say it the right way. Because to me, it sounded like you were saying that, that the NFL was the right for not wanting it because he's too much trouble. You're making it. Mm. Stephen A. said to me to seem like Kaepernick is just too much of a hassle, and then Kaepernick should sell out all the way because he's already sold out, but sell out a little more just so he can get his way on the field and run around. That's what he should do. And yes, Kaepernick sold out, in my opinion, by taking the settlement. By taking the settlement, but he didn't sell out in that moment because <laughs> in that moment he said, "That's cute. You got this waiver that you want any media you want it to be private. I got to sign stuff that has nothing to do with the practice." Yeah, saying I can't sue. I, I can't ever. sue. I can't talk. Just to get out, just to, and it's cute because this sounds like some NFL BS. Mm-hmm. Because what sounds more for gays? I got to sign all these media waivers and liability and, and sue statements for a workout. I'm not even. It's not even like he got signed to the Patriots. And before you sign to the Patriots, they go, "Oh, okay, man. Before you sign to this team, you got to fill all this stuff because yeah. we can't have you sue us." Yeah. He's not even on a team. He's in. <laughs> he's in some high school in Atlanta, running around. They got to sign a sue waiver. I, I don't even think Kaepernick said no. I think his lawyer was like, "F that's, that." That's they said, Hell no. His lawyer was like, "Dude, we're not signing that shit." Hell no. Yeah. So that end, which I I hate to do, Kaepernick, you're good. Okay. You're solid. Now talk about physically. Physically. I don't know if you've been really been working out three years, man. I don't know. Because yeah. when I watched him, I maybe I'm just my memories a little me. I thought he I sound so nitpicky. Go ahead. But like I thought that when he played back, he looked a little more shredded back then. Like okay. like I know I he, he I, looked know, good. I, I didn't um, I didn't think he looked bad throwing the ball or anything. I don't think he looked out of shape or anything, but he had, he didn't look of course like in like peak physical form, which he can get to in no time working out with them. But he just like looked like it's been a while, you know. It's all good though. I mean, we didn't get to see much. I got I don't really watch. I got to see three routes and then all deep balls and one like slant. But I mean, what's the, I mean? Look, there's people in the NFL right now that are worse than him playing, and and people out there on the bench. I mean, like he could literally be starting for the Redskins right now. It's not even that serious because Alex Smith is gonna come back somehow and play. I don't think he's ever coming back. I mean, he he's out there already. His leg is like. Oh, that's funny because you didn't watch the video today, did you? He's already doing practice on the field. We're jump doing drills with a brace on. He's ready to oh, come yeah, back. Okay. So Al Smith is coming back. Okay, so if Al Smith can come back, then I'm sure Captain will get a team. Okay, well, I, I'm gonna start physical. I, I agree pretty much everything you said. Like honestly, I'm not even gonna go over that stuff again. No. I agree with everything you said. Physically, 
I feel like his throwing motion is still bad. <laughs> I don't even understand how you can throw a ball and like you come from this motion and then your non-throwing arm ends up on your side when you throw the ball. I'm like, it, it, how do you? How does it not stay? Like in the video, y'all can see. Yeah, this. You, how does it not stay up? Like his yeah. his his non-throwing arm stays down when he throws the ball. I'm like, how did, it, it, how does that it's even weird happen? Because because I know I'm not a quarterback, but I know that like you want to have the release point be the aim of where it goes, but his release. Hand release is so low. It's like he's letting ball. He's like it's like he's letting go of the ball earlier than the, his release finishes. Well, I because you know you know I don't think, you know he, how I don't he, think he throws the. I don't think he's. I don't think that's the case. I think his non throwing arm just ends up on his side, where usually when you, you want to keep ball, it, up. It, it. Yeah, yeah it stays up. So I, it's just weird to me. Yeah. But I mean, whatever. There's he's other... very weird, but he, he came from being a pitcher. They always have kind of weird yeah. motions. Um, whatever. I mean, the the thing is, is like this. This to me, it, it the focus should have been. I mean, obviously, it's not going to because of the media, but the focus should have been how disgusting kind of the NFL is. Like, like it should have been about how the NFL is trying to pull a fast one on someone who just went through an entire litigation process and had a whole settlement to sell everything, and here you are inside of contractual papers trying to put some 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 tiny text to one-up somebody in, into this fake workout that I don't even know who... Wh- why do... Why, I, this is my thing. That's my thing. Why does... It, this is so corny to me. Who does this? What kind of commission, what kind of organization sets up a workout for teams to watch a player? No one does this. If anybody want to work out, they can literally get a call, oh, come here, run around, and won't want to see you. So it's already some kind of cap the NFL is doing something weird. And the lawyer probably had a hint, like, this is weird, dude, but let's see what it is. I This is what I think. Him, and also, I'm sorry, him setting up his own was legit good for you. Yeah, yeah. Much, I don't know why you couldn't do I mean, I'm sure you could have done before, but it was cool. Players were willing to come out and, and run with him and get out there too. That's dope. So it was good for him. Like he, yeah. he was still able to get he still got in the headlines. It just sucks that some pundits over there uh took a side on which I thought was I didn't think it was even hard to like pick a side on this one. I don't even like Kaepernick. I, I don't like how it went down. Um I like Kaepernick what he was doing. I don't like how the settlement went down. And then I don't like the response to what's going on in the situation. I thought it was kinda whack, like Stephen A. Smith and Jay Z talking about uh, what? Like, Jay-Z talking about something. Jay-Z, you gonna talk about you're literally doing the dances on the field now. You're literally dancing a few with gloves on and you got a nerve to tell somebody. You got a nerve to tell somebody that they're selling out. You got the nerve? Well, he said, well, allegedly he said he's disappointed, but I don't know. Oh, you're that. disappointed. How do you think we feel when you did a whole song talk about the NFL need me and then you signed a contract with the NFL? Yeah, facts. Okay, this is what I think the reason why that happened. Yeah. I think the NFL is realizing that the quarterback situation in the NFL situation in the NFL is just really bad. They the quarterbacks in the NFL it's, are bad. You've been like, saying this for years, yeah. but this this now this season is just it, bad it, because it's, it's all those other guys are getting hurt and they're looking terrible. Because, the numbers are awful. Even the pages look weird right now. Yeah, Tom Brady's really old. <clears throat> yeah, uh, Drew Brees had to miss a bunch of games. He's old. Aaron Rodgers. Alex Smith got shot in the leg. Yeah, even and Alex Smith's never been yeah, a star. But he's still, he's like up that. there. Um, he brought that Kansas City team to the playoffs. Yeah, so. um, but there's no stars really. And and like you got guys Mitchell Trubisky and huh? uh, Sam Darnold and what? Jared Goff is bad and they're realizing that and um, didn't that who Alabama the rest, guy just got like he got hurt almost died um, there's just not a lot of he broke good, his hip right something Jesus Christ something crazy there's not a lot of good player a uh, good yeah. quarterbacks and I think the NFL is like okay you know what if we're gonna have these garbage quarterbacks like we can just try to get Kaepernick in there and at least that's a name because. There's no stars. Like, there's just no stars. It used to be like the quarterback is the star. It, it These used guys to be. are all I'm, bad. I'm real. I mean, even Cam from Newton's they, out for the season. Or from, even if we're talking about, like, I think some of the pinnacle years, like, let's say early 2000s, mm-hmm. you had late 90s. Every too. single team had somebody to worry about. Almost yeah. every team. Almost every team. Mm-hmm. Even like a team like the Jaguars would be like, hey, Mark Brunello can get it cracking mm-hmm. any day. Mm-hmm. And that's mm-hmm. not even a top tier team back then. They were no. not a good team. They were okay. Yeah. So you had teams like Buccaneers even had like Brad Johnson. You just had random quarters that could give you fits any day. Yeah. Nowadays you're like, ah, uh, I mean, yeah. it's fine. It's like it's like it's Lamar weird. Jackson's the baller and but it's like he's a young guy, you know, he's still kinda yeah. unknown. It, they just don't have stars for that, real. That, and I think when I was reading a list for the MVP race, I'm like, what? Yeah, <laughs> it's it's just not a lot of stars, and even the guys that are good, like Russell Wilson's good, yeah, but he's yeah. not a star for real, for real. He's um, big, but he's, he's big, star. but he's not a star, you know. Um, 
And I think that's what they're starting to realize. And at least if Kaepernick is, even if he signed to a team, even if he didn't play, at least that's a name and it's attention. Yeah. And I think that they're realizing, it could, but if he was to end up getting in a game, that's going to be huge. Because you know? he's already it, a star. It's big if he's on that field. Yeah, he's a like, star. Like, like, like Kaepernick is a star now. Yeah, he's a big, he's a he, big name. He's, because, because unlike other players, he's an example of, Somebody who's recognizable now without a helmet. Yeah, and all exactly. these players will helmets, but now we the America Every, the, America the knows Kaepernick's face. Yeah, so that so he's that's, a star legit. Yeah. So if he gets on the field, like yeah. that's just automatic yeah. startup. He's a bigger star. If he got on a field and he started playing good, oh my! It, God. Even if he played bad, it's, yeah. it's good if, for the NFL. But I mean, if he if he started balling, it'd be insane. He would. Yeah. Blow if he balls, the roof. if he balls, it's bad for the NFL. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> they're gonna be like, hey, we can't hook our shoulders. They're gonna be like, uh, number ninety nine. We need you to take him. Out. They'll be uh, like, you, we need to take that uh, Miles, uh, rough in the passer. Miles, Miles Garrett. In the passer. Miles Garrett, go ahead and swing that hel- helmet again. <laughs> Rich Cognito back up backwards into his foot. <laughs> exactly. Um, but I think that... Um, Miles, I think Miles Garrett. <laughs> we need to swing that helmet one more time. <laughs> no. One more again, swing that helmet. Um, All right. <laughs> cool. But yeah, I think that the NFL is realizing like we need stars, and they just don't have them at quarterback. And... Um, yeah, he's a star. He yeah. like Colin Kaepernick. If he didn't play one down, he's a bigger name than Lamar Jackson, who's balling the season. He's a bigger name than Kirk Cousins, who's doing okay. He's a bigger name than like Jameis Winston. He's a bigger name than whoever's playing for Carolina right now. That Cam Newton's gone. He's just such a big name that he helps the NFL so much. Yeah, and I do kind of think that he still will be signed. Next season, I don't think he's gonna get signed. This I think season. it's too late right now. I think next season he can get to. He, yeah, I think know. next season, like he'll. Yeah. I think he'll end up in a training. I, camp. I think this season will only happen if another big name goes down. Like, oh, like let, let's I say, think, okay, you know, I don't think if it's a big name. I think if it's a team that doesn't have a big name and that their backup is garbage. Like, let's say the Bears. I just know them. They got that dude Mitchell Trubisky, who's garbage. If and I don't I, know when who, I saw it, I was like, "Who is and this?" I, I think their backup is Chase Daniel, who's also oh like been a perennial back. I think he's the backup. Uh, Wait, the I, I know they do. Chase Daniel, yeah, yeah. and they're calling for Chase Daniel. So like, I'm just like, okay, if somebody like that goes out, where the starter, where like, you know, your starter isn't really that good, then maybe a Kaepernick there. Oh, I mean, it's Chicago. I don't really know, but like, maybe if the dude, um, I think his name is Kyle Allen or something. I'm not sure. The guy in Carolina right now. If he goes down, like that's the situation where Kaepernick could come in. Um, yeah, that's crazy. But I, or 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 if uh, Matt Ryan goes down, Matt Schaub is still there to back up. He's Ooh. old. You know what I mean? And was never that good. No, like he had a couple good seasons. I still rock Matt Schaub. He used to play for Virginia. He's a University. Of Virginia he didn't get cracking on to just for a little bit. Like, <laughs> he used to like, he, like three he used to, games. He used to back up uh, Michael Vick actually. I remember that. Yeah, I remember he called for him and get mad. <laughs> I, I, I used know, to be like, of course you. I, I, I used to be calling for him. <laughs> See, look right here, people, right here. Right here, waiting for the downfall. <laughs> waiting for the downfall. I was in there like, why the hell do you want him? He has another 1,000-yard rushing year, 1,000-yard throwing year. Well, Matt Schaub used to be up there playing for University of VA, dog. And Michael the Vick Commonwealth. Was, and Michael Vick was a Virginia Tech, so you know what I'm saying? But anyway. Um, That's funny, though. I Both Virginia quarterbacks. Yeah, I, um, I could see him maybe this season, but I don't really see it necessarily happening. But I could see him being in a mini camp next season. And you know, being able to get acclimated to the team, I can see him at Atlanta. Honestly, I think the Falcons might end up. That'd be cool. Doing a I think it'd be a cool move. And I think he'd be a good backup for Matt, for Matt Ryan. Too. Yeah, and hopefully, maybe start with him. Who knows? Whatever. Yeah. But Matt Ryan's not, not, let me, not let, a spring let, chicken either. Let, let me clear for this because I was kind of saying, getting going kind of hard on Kaepernick earlier, because oh, and, and whoever, episodes. whoever didn't listen to this and this past, maybe I've tried to emph- emphatically state, I didn't, I never say what you want about Kaepernick and where you stand, where you stand, what I said. What Kaepernick did initially, noble. That's a noble man. Kneeling. Kneeling. Um, not just kneeling, but the refugee work, the humanitarian work, all the stuff he does, noble. I can ever come at somebody for doing that and, and sacrificing what's made them their career mm-hmm. for, for a stand for humanity and, and, and people and people uh, of black people in America. I'm kinda He's scared. Done... I'm kinda scared I didn't press record on the acid. But anyway, click on it. No, no, go ahead. All right. Well, now you move my point again. Sorry, sorry. So, <laughs> it's probably all we're all done for. Uh, it's all good. We got a fresh YouTube episode. So, anyways, Fast. it's gonna take like three, <laughs> two, ten hours to upload. Maybe you could extract it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. Like you made the beat. Like you take the beats or whatever. Pause. Uh, no snitching. Um, so, uh, 
I have no problem with what he did there. That's yeah. great. I only had a problem because the finally when I started to turn around and be like, hey man, like this is cool what you're doing. A, a law a, a, a lawsuit comes up and you took a settlement. Now, I don't care. I wasn't there, nor were you in the lawsuit. You know, we weren't there in that room. You talking about me wasn't there? Anybody or the viewers? I was there. You weren't there either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, we weren't there. None of us were there. And I don't care what documents that you weren't there. You took a payout to to end it. You accepted money to end it. True in history, the people that have died on the hill that have, have, have risked it all risked it all mm. it's not a risk at all if eventually a money payout stops you from fighting some some movement you were doing yeah whether that they were going to expose something you want to see whatever dude that it's supposed to be a risk at all situation if you're willing to do it and whatever he didn't choose to do it it's over and moved on i said on the show he's a sellout for that because I thought that he was a true freedom fighter. You thought you wanted him to keep fighting to the end. I thought the because I think that's just what that's when that's people what people to like to give the ordain the name freedom fighter anybody any day. I don't like to do that. It has to really be someone like Lula is in okay, jail. Chill. Someone like uh, Nelson Mandela went to jail for thirty five years for the people. You know that's 20, uh, next level twenty seven. Closeness. Probably convicted thirty five. Got twenty seven. <laughs> whatever. Probably a good time, good community service. So whatever he did is good behavior. So he got our you know. It's different, but Kaepernick, you know what I mean? Like, that happened, and it moved on. Now we're here, and I moved on for now. We all moved on. Well, I think... The workout of- comes, and I didn't come into the scene this workout with the reservation, but yeah, but you know, you did sell out during that, uh, that, that the, the case. No, I was like, oh, you get a workout. And then I thought when it was over, and him and everything happened, we're all going to be in the same side here. Hey, man, like, once again, NFL tried to one-up a guy who, who, who stands for black people in America and does all this, but there's literally... African Americans on TV getting on him about not selling out harder to play in a damn jersey and kneel on a on a TV because that's what it sounded like to me. You want him to to sell out even harder to get on there, and I was happy that he didn't. Yeah, I thought that it proves that, that shows that he didn't sell out before actually. Yeah, to me, that's how I, that's how I felt. I, and I respect you. That that's what's up. To me, I was just like, okay, hey man, you got a backbone. Good for you. I, Do your thing, I dog. If, I think if it. Like not not trying to like counter what you said himself. No, no, go ahead settlement. though. Go ahead though. Because I didn't like the settlement either. Yeah. But like, it, I feel like okay, the fact that you did this with the workout makes me feel like you didn't actually sell out with the settlement. And, and there's just something that we don't know. Okay, and, and that's fair. I can take that into consideration too because unlike me. other people, I, I, I'm willing to be wrong and learn. That's fine. Mm, that's cool. I'm mm, down to be wrong. Since when? And I'm and if I'm wrong and whatever, I'm willing to be like Captain. You're right, dude. Like. I'm glad you did what you did because what you're doing right now is the right thing. And what he did right now is the right thing. Yeah. He didn't want to walk into a situation where he has to sign his damn life away for a fucking workout that doesn't guarantee nothing. Yeah. If you're going to at least sign your life away, at least have a guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> at least be like, yeah, at least I'm going to guarantee the yeah, six games, though. The Illuminati, at least I'm yeah, at least I'm guaranteed this this jet, whatever, yeah. like nothing. It yeah. was just like, oh, yeah, we're just going to like let you work out. Mm-hmm. With no media, super secretly, and also sign this stuff about the lawsuit so you don't sue us later. Yeah. Hey, man, I thought this was a workout. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yeah. he, you're already having to bring your lawyer out for a workout is already concerning enough. So yeah. here we go. And he did the right thing, brought his own people out. And it's funny. I think that he probably would have went there pretty neutral somewhat to the workout. But because all this happened, he's like, F that. Now I'm going to go hard in the paint. Yeah, and I think dude, he, was, he was willing to do it. And, and I, think, I think he was because, because we can all have things we believe in in life. But when we go to an, an opportunity with an employer, we're going to go, oh, it's going to come present myself. Professionalism, let's get a crack and show what I can do because it's about me in the field. And separate that and do that later. Mm-hmm. But no, I think that what they did made him probably like amped up. He's like, all right, well, now I'm going to wear this Kunta Kente shirt. I'm going to bring <laughs> everybody out. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to make a damn statement at the end, which I thought was cool too. Yeah. That statement was dope too because everybody should take that statement and be like apply it to your life. It's legit. Mm-hmm. So good on him. Absolutely from for me is insignificant to his life. Mm-hmm. Good on him. I props to him for that. I that honestly, was dope. I honestly didn't want I, I heard about Stephen A. Smith saying Stephen Max Kellerman. I watched it on I ESPN. Did, I didn't I honestly I, on purpose I didn't want to see it. It, it, I it, just, it, it, it wasn't worth it. It yeah. wasn't worth it. To like, me, I wanna I wanna have I you know keep what? my own opinion. To me though, it wasn't worth it because it only kept consistent with me him saying I've been saying he's he's like and, in, and of course he has knowledge on sports, but he's just like up selling this this theme he's and, selling and and you do it so much that I don't know whether you're doing this Stuff for Whether clickbait, or, not, or you're yeah. being real. So when you come back the next episode and you're fire on everybody, 
You can't do that because we don't know who you are, dude. Yeah, yeah. You tell everybody, man, you don't know me, you don't know me, dog. That's your fault. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. you've been playing persona. Mm-hmm. You've been doing this. And if, if you're not been persona, damn, I hope not. I hope yeah. that's not really you on TV doing this. Yeah. And I don't think that that's, I don't think that he should be saying stuff like that. No, he, he should have just, he, he could have said what he said last week. And he, he could have been today and just had nothing to talk about. And then moved you, on. You know what? He was responding to people on the internet. He, he actually said not... he was actually responding to last text he got. The last text he got was from T.O. Ooh, and T.O.'s going on. T.O.'s was going on. He's mm. like, you know what? I was about to start, but T.O. just T.O. just text me right now. Um, and he started going off. Well, you know but, why, man? Well, because he shouldn't, he shouldn't be responding to T.O. on TV. Respond no, he to shouldn't. Max Kellerman or whoever else yeah. is saying anything. Well, I thought Max was making fair points, too. Yeah, I didn't. I, didn't, I, I you saw know a little bit of his, if and they, I was like, okay. They, I was willing to watch the argument between what he did and what he did, because when it started off with Max Kellerman, Max Kellerman was bringing facts. Max Kellerman said... Here's the, here's the, there was the situation with the waiver. It was weird. This was going on. Kaepernick said, I don't want anything to do with that. I'll just do my own thing and invite media. They're going to come anyways because mm-hmm. NFL effed up. By doing that, the media has their attention now. So now mm-hmm. Kaepernick said something up. They're going to go to it. And they did. And it was far away. Too. And it was far. And they still went to it. Riverdale. Okay. That's so. Right. That's where it was. <laughs> yeah, that's funny though. <laughs> I wish it was zone six. Riverdale. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so when you watch. Stephen A. Smith's firing everybody. He's saying stuff like, well, actually, I have in possession both documents. One from an NFL gave me a copy and Kaepernick. It doesn't matter, dude, no. because you're not talking about that. No. You're talking about how we responded to what you said, thinking that you were kind of selling out. Mm-hmm. So It's he, okay to be a sellout. It's all good. Like, Look, I think he should just he, he sell literally like named. I he literally named, like, yeah, people don't know what I've done this network from, from ESPN to Fox to CNN. This. Hey, man, that's a very – that list – Probably to sell out a bit to get all those contracts. And it's all good. Yeah, we trying to sell out here. But too. the thing is, is you can't get mad at us. Big facts. So you can't get <laughs> mad at us. I'll put all this back around in the TV. <laughs> you can't come at the people for being upset when you've labeled your entire first take career as being this over-the-top show bonus crazy uh, pundit who makes these crazy points. And then when you make a crazy point about Kaepernick and we respond to it, you can't get upset at that. That's yeah. what... That's what drove your ratings for it. We all watched that show to see you do that. Yeah. And, and then we watched your response. Yeah. And, and one thing that happens, I think, in media and like the person that has the bigger platform, like this is something that happens all the time. The person with the big platform says their opinion. They see the response of people like from whether it be social media or whatever, responding to their opinion. And then they say, well, I'm just having my opinion, and people are getting mad about my opinion. Dog, <laughs> they're allowed to have their opinion too. It's not just it you. Like, yeah, no. Like I always hate to see somebody saying, "I'm just expressing my opinion." Yeah, and why are y'all mad about my opinion? You're mad about their opinion. Yeah, you, you. If you counter to us being upset, is I'm expressing my opinion. We're doing that too, yeah, buddy. So like, what you mad? We're about? just not on TV. We're in the comment section exactly. or at home. Yeah, like, oh, people mad about my opinion. Yeah, and I mean, you're mad about their the, opinion. The, That's the what only you're reason I thought that he like broke character is because he was calling people idiots. He's like, y'all who, some idiots. Like, uh, who was he calling idiots? The us people, people saying that they that yeah, he sold out. Yeah. So that's the only thing I'm like, look, you kind of broke character right now because you're like legit. You're taking it personal. He's like looking at the, t- the the camera. I'm like, you're taking this really personal. Yeah. You're not even looking at Kellerman. The you're really? looking at the camera yeah. and you're calling us hideous. You you took this that personal because you know what happened? It, it, his pride, the pride got in the way. Yeah, exactly. His his pride got in the way. He's he's proud of being a black man in this situation. It, it was kind of taken away from him by people saying questioning his. His side, on what side he was you taking. I mean, I'm for me, I'm just like, I mean, who knows if I'm ever in that position, how I'm going to feel. But yeah. I would imagine, because even we've gotten responses and stuff from things yeah, yeah. you said on internet. Oh, yeah. I don't have a, like, I'm just going to be like, that's just what I think. You think something different? That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. You know? I like, say wild stuff on here all the time. Yeah. And, and, and my wild opinions are not. And I don't expect anybody, to, uh, people to be in the yeah. same accordance as me. Yeah. We don't even agree on stuff. Yeah. I don't expect us to see things different. We, come we, different boycott, worlds. we boycotted Ronaldo. We were going back trolling with the people. But as far as like somebody saying like y'all are stupid, like that's just how I, that's just yeah. how we're gonna do it. Yeah, you don't have to agree with we, this. We had to boycott Ronaldo, and then we even on this show, on the show when we had the last situation with Ronaldo, which one? What, what the what the the what the boycotting. 
waiting for the police results. Mm -hmm. When we were discussing it, I remember very abstractly on the show, me being like, mm, I don't know, I gotta see, I gotta see, and that's how the boycott started because because you were mad about what you been said. Yeah, I, I was already on being like, you know what, I'd rather just let this play, him play, and let the let it handle out in court. Yeah, I kicked in the boycott because I got mad that Juve took a stance. Yeah, you And it wasn't like a stance citizen. because yeah, Juve no. took a stance supporting someone they pay rather than people that pay to watch him. Yeah. You know, like, there's people that... You may pay Ronaldo, but there's people that pay you so you can pay Ronaldo. Facts. And when you did that, you shut us all out and you took a side. And that was messed up. You should have stayed neutral, let it play out, whatever, instead of some stupid, terrible Google Translate English statement supporting him. That's where I got mad and I said, let's get this boycott cracking. Yeah. But either way, it's like, yeah. yo, if you have an opinion on a situation, just have your opinion. You have Don't get the mad platform. at the reaction. Yeah, you have the platform. And you, if you have an informed decision that you... Uh, are standing on just be like that's what I think y'all think this we just have a difference of opinion I can say all this right now and Hardy can go on Twitter and be like Caesar's an absolute idiot he has no you talking yeah, about a, yeah. that's fair go yeah. ahead man because you can know talk what? about yeah. it because Hardy can go and have his own podcast and say the complete opposite points as me about the situation and I can't get mad at his reaction it's I have an opinion we both have opinions that's how we yeah. share them I'm yeah. not going to get mad that he reacts like that just like you shouldn't get mad that I do. It's the same thing. Yeah, exactly. So, Stephen A. Smith, you're a clown again. <laughs> anyway, okay. I want to end this before two hours. No, let's hit that too. And I really hope that I press record on acid. I don't know why yeah, I feel like on. I didn't. What's wrong with you? I don't know why I feel like I didn't, but I hope I don't I remember did. you doing the snaps, though. I didn't do that, but I didn't do that. I usually do that before I get on there. But anyway, um, that's what, we made a podcast episode 133. That's our last episode. This yeah. is the how it ends. You, you, you see that we're 133 <laughs> episodes in. We're still going for two hours. We're not. We're not out here tweeting. Okay, hey, hey, no, hey, no, no, no. hey, we, oh. hey, uh, oh, hey, looking no, no. for some content. Yeah, what y'all got? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> anyway, holler at us. Make sure you follow us everywhere. We made a podcast. Holler.